الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أي يتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني اذا كان محصنا يرجم اذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق اذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من الردة يترك إن هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل أن فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول أو سب الله جل وعلا أو كذا فإنه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني يصير مسلم ولا ذبحناه كله لا لا ما نريد مرتزقا الكف اول شيء السبي لا يكون الا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لاي سبب من الاسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي ابدا السبي لا يكون الا للكافر لا يسبى المسلم ابدا وانما يسبى الكافر وانا ارجو ان الانسان لا يخجل من دينه و يقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل ها هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس لا أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول أعبد أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy, you're finished already, look at me Look at me, you know you're done You are Ali 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 Wallahi Every single land Every single country Wallahi with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how all with the exception of none every country every tree every grain of sand every mountain every river every ocean every ocean 
Wallahi, every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, Dude, the water, the arch of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Oh. Ali. Ali. Hello, hello, we are live on air. Welcome everybody, God bless you. I hope everybody is doing okay, welcome. Hello, hello. Any Muslim? <laughs> Hi guys. Let me say hello to our admins. We are blessed. Uh, Phil Herrera. Uh, there are, I think, many admins. I saw many admins. Uh, the live chat is going crazy. Wow, so many people already. Anyway, let me continue. Peter the Wall, uh, Harrison Spice, Terry Galliot, Eco Sinaga. Wow, so many people, man. Wow, what's what's happening, guys? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, guys. Christian Crusader, Frauch. How are you, Frauch? James, good day. Joseph Conrady. Sorry if I'm butchering your names, guys. Uh, guys, don't forget to keep our admins in your prayers, please. Keep us in your prayers. Tiger J, Tiger J, how are you, my friend? Welcome. Jay Miller, Nasser Nasun, welcome. Hi, Nasser Nasun. I think you're a Muslim, but we don't hate you, my friend. Welcome here. You're a nice guest here. TM Crossbows, present. Another admin, guys. Keep him also in your praise. Malaysian Prophet, Derek. The truth will set you free. Welcome. Frost. There are many people, man. Uh, sorry, guys, if if I cannot mention all of your names, forgive me. I love you. I love the Muslims too. We don't hate Muslims. We're actually here to share the truth and nothing but the truth. Welcome, everybody. Before we start, guys, because I have a uh, a lot of videos that I want to go through, you know, because today's topic is the refuting the Muslims. The wannabe Muslim apologist. That's my topic of today. So we are going to go through many videos and I'm going to show you how easy it is to barbecue, spank them, refute them and serve them for you to see. You're going to be my witnesses today. Yes. So let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior. So we're going to ask our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to bless this live stream and the audience. So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, the name above all names, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. And Lord, thank you for your grace. We believe as Trinitarian Christians that Jesus is truly risen. And risen is he indeed. al Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we always say as Arabic speaking Christians. al Masih qam, he's truly risen. Risen is he indeed. Christos Anesti, that's what the Gr Greeks would say. Sorry if I'm butchering the Greek, guys. But you, you, you understand what we are going to say, right? Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. And thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for this lovely audience. There are so many people here. I cannot thank him enough. So thank you for this, for these amazing people. Please keep them safe and bless them and their loved ones. Keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus. And Lord, please enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that, so that we might not give into discouragement, any taqiyya, any maker, any doubt. And please, Lord, help us on you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who are always repeating the curses of Allah at least 70 times a day when they pray. Lord, also open their eyes so they can be saved like we are saved through Jesus Christ, his ultimate gift. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today 
and please guide me and bless this live stream so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth. And speak without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord, who is Jesus Christ himself. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. We are live on air. Today we'll have the opportunity to expose wannabe so-called Muslim apologist. We're going to play some videos and we're going to barbecue them one by one, including Farida and many others. So if, uh, if there are Muslims who are big fans of uh, Farida, we already showed you in uh, many of our videos that he's nothing but a mushrik, a blasphemer, calling his prophet Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, God of the Holy Bible. We already spanked him, so if this guy has any shame, right? Farida, if he has any shame, he should actually upload a video and say, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm repenting publicly since I uploaded a public video and called our prophet the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But he is a coward. He will not do it. He has no shame. He has no dignity, let alone any, uh, right? Any guts to, to repent publicly. So if there are Muslims... I'm talking to the admins, if there are Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge, give them my Skype ID, we'll open Skype. So only Muslims are allowed to call for now, guys. All right, you know the basic rules by now. When we are teaching, only Muslims can call us. We'll see if we are going to open Skype too for our brothers and sisters in Christ after we are done. All right? All right, all right. So it depends how long the live show will be guys you know uh <clears throat> i have a very short video as you know guys i'm really busy lately but it will not hold us from doing what we do so let us start guys let us start Exposing wannabe Muslim apologists. That's my topic of today, guys. So make sure to invite our friends, guys. Share the link uh, on social media. Admins, provide the link if you can to this live show. Guys, Christians, please don't allow this live show to go in vain. Please download our videos. Share our, our videos on social media to help those poor victims of this man-made cult. They only listen to their Muslim apologists. They only listen to their shayukh and imams who are always deceiving them, right? They are deceived. But when you have sincere Muslims who are actually caring about the truth, they will do their own research, right? That we provide here on the screen. We are providing Muslim sources on the screen. If you care about your salvation, if you care about your soul, do something and see if we are lying to you or not, all right? See if we are lying, right? So Christians, you have homework to do please christians if you love me as i love you please don't be lazy i'm not calling you lazy but please don't be lazy all right you need to share our videos so let us start guys <clears throat> if we go to chapter 53 of the quran if we go to chapter 53 of the quran ayah 3 and 4 we can read which means if Muhammad speaks, he has no nothing but uh, about his own desire, right? Anything he says is nothing but divine revelation. So when Muhammad opened his mouth, according to these ayahs, when Muhammad opened his mouth, it's divine revelation. Every word that Muhammad used to say 1400 years ago was nothing but divine revelation. Can you imagine? In other words, Muhammad was like the walking Quran himself. Everything Muhammad said was divine revelation from Allah, according to Islam. Did you catch it, guys? So we can use every word in the hadith, everything in the Quran, we can use it against Muhammad today in the court of law. Right? Everything Muhammad said can be used against him in the court of law. All right. Last time we mentioned the cross-dresser prophet of Islam, right? Do you remember the, the to do videos that I did? I did a small video, a short video, and I did a live show about it. 
And there was an, a Muslim apologist, I think he's from Indonesia. I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to put anyone on a footstool. You know, we don't, we should not give these people any credits. But he dared, he dared to make a response video about it. He has no courage to call me live, you know. He's a, he's a coward. He will never call me because he know what will happen to him. But let us play the video for you, right? He, he went through my video and see he's go, how he's going to use taqiyya, try to deceive those poor Indonesian Muslims who has no clue about the Arabic. Right, guys? So what I want to ask you is to put your headsets on and let us listen. And you will see how he's going to even cut my voice. He doesn't even play my voice. Can you imagine? Because he knows. He's a coward. He knows. He knows because if he's going to play my voice, watch, guys, watch. Watch what he's going to do. Let me play the video, guys. All right. Let's see. Du, du, du. All right. Let us start, guys. Put your headsets on and let us play the video. All right. This is this is the uh, the guy. I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to give anyone any credits. But he's he's playing my video. You see, he's playing my video. The video that I made about the cross-dressing prophet of Islam. And watch how he's going to basically mute me and he's going to lie about what I said. Watch. And we're going to spank him, guys. Right? We're going to spank him. In our Sharia uh, of Islam, there is forbidden to a uh, woman uh, look like as a man and a man look like as a woman. Yeah. So as you see, he agrees with the hadith from Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 40, I, uh, 40, 98, hadith number 40, 98, where a man is cursed by Muhammad if he dresses like a woman and if a woman dresses like a man. So he agrees with this one. Okay, good. So he's agreeing, right? So in in uh, in, in in Islam, it is forbidden to uh, marriage about the guys yeah, mm -hmm. or the lesbian. Yeah. But in Christianity, yeah, I don't Indonesian know. Exactly. But I it's heard that there is uh, several church that uh, holds the marriage of the guys of the lesbian but in islam it is uh, big yeah yeah um okay <laughs> i don't want to even very, go very there very forbidden okay next yeah it's forbidden okay let us see if your prophet is a cross dresser see you see what he did to my voice guys do you hear my voice it's gone you see he lowered my voice you see the, you see these these evil liars these evil sons of Satan, he muted me basically. Why are you not allowing my voice to be played? This is the deceptive uh, statement of Mr. Rob Christian. Yeah. Look, guys, you see what he said? He, he say, he's calling me a deceiver, right? He's calling me a deceiver. When I showed this on the screen from Sahih al-Bukhari, look, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2581. So he's calling me a deceiver. Let's see why he's calling me a deceiver. He uh, translate the hadith in a wrong way. Very, very wrong. Yeah, very, very wrong. And insult uh, our prophet Muhammad. So he's calling me a liar. Calling me a liar because I put this on the screen showing that Muhammad, right, dressed, he was dressed in the garment of Aisha. So watch what he's going to do, guys. Muhammad, yeah. There is no garment of any woman. Let's see the hadith here. What? What, what, what? Muhammad did not put the garment of Aisha on him and became a gross cross-dresser. He's denying it, right, guys? Did you hear it? Here is the hadith. Yeah, here's here the, hadith. the hadith, yeah. yeah. From he's going to show Sunakom. you the false English Sunakom. translation of the hadith. He's because this guy doesn't know Arabic, he trusts an English translation of the hadith. What an embarrassing man. You're, 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 you're embarrassing, dude. You are reading English translation while I am showing the direct translation of the Arabic. Said in uh, Bukhari uh, 25, 81, okay? Yeah, there are their translations, right? Okay. Not my Here translation. Bukhari 25. Okay. Yeah. He's showing the, 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 the Bukhari, Bukhari okay. hadith, right? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here is the the sunnah. Watch, and guys. Watch, very, watch very, what I'm going to do to him. Watch. A uh, long passage. It's about the conflict. It's about the wives of the prophets. The several wives. Yeah, of yeah. We know the Muhammad story. We know. We and know. divided into group. Yeah. 
divided into group of people send Muhammad a it gift it doesn't yeah. say that or see and exactly. uh, they <laughs> give uh, to, to Muhammad in the Aisha houses yeah. it's not, not Aisha it's uh, Aisha you in, liar not he can't even pronounce the name of the correct name of the mother of, be of the believers it's not Aisha it's Aisha you idiot you call yourself a Muslim in other houses and by the way you need to activate your windows man your windows is not activated make sure to activate it you're not even using windows legally man not in other white houses yeah it's the problem uh, there is a little conflict uh, between the wife of uh, Prophet Muhammad and here is the translation in Indonesia so so guys look what he's doing he is putting a false translation English false translation and is translating it to in to Indonesian so what you get guys so basically in a nutshell he's using a false translation English right English and he's using Google translate to translate it into Indonesian so what are you getting guys false which make it even more false right did you catch what he's doing? He's not going, he's not using the Arabic. <laughs> I mean, my friend, was the hadith, original hadith, is it in Arabic or is it in English? You idiot. This is really embarrassing, guys. This is so embarrassing, guys. This is really embarrassing. Why are you not putting the Arabic to translate it? I am anyway. the English yeah, Muslim, continuous. so I... So what does it say? What does it say? Uh, what does it say? Uh, sure, it say? that the translation is not wrong. What okay, is what is what is what is not wrong? Passage. Here is the passage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, the okay. Wife of Allah, wife messenger, were in two groups. Yeah. Are you, are you group going to read it all? of Aisha, Hafsa, Safiya, and Sauda. Eh? And the other group consisted of Ummu Salama and the other okay, wife. Okay. Okay. Go to the, uh, Allah the, the important part. Go there. The Muslim knew that Allah's messenger loved Aisha. So yeah. if any woman had a gift and wished to give. To Allah Messenger, he would delay it till Allah's Messenger Muhammad had come to Aisha home. Okay. So guys, he's 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 using a bad translation where Thobe Thobe is falsely falsely translated because that's the Arabic word to what? Watch what he, how it's translated. What how is it translated yeah. to what? To what? Aisha. Okay. And then uh, he would send his gift to Allah. Yeah. yeah. Messenger Muhammad in her home. The group of Umm Salama. So guys, watch what how it's translated. Watch. Discuss the matter together and decided that Umm Salama should request Allah Messenger to, yeah. to send their gift to him. Uh, in whatever wife's house he was, Umm Salama told Allah Messenger mm. of what they had said, but he didn't reply. Then they, those wives, yeah, asked Umm Salama about it. He, she said, "I did. She said, uh, yeah, she not shared, say yeah. anything to me. I'm sorry. He did not say anything to me." The Guys, is this guy not putting you asleep? Honest to God, where's the refutation, man? Where's the refutation? Ask her to talk to He's him putting again. us asleep. She talked to him again, to Muhammad, okay? Prophet Muhammad again when uh, yeah, yeah, he okay, okay. on her day. But uh, he gave no reply. When they asked her, she replied that he gave given to reply. They said oh, Lord her, of talk Lord of to mercy. him till he gave you a reply. What He's putting us asleep, man. Turn, she talked to him again. She then said to her, June yeah. 9, this is the, the emphasize yeah, in the... How can you even listen to this guy, not, man, as an Indonesian? Sorry. I'm sorry. Look. I, guys, this guy, I think, I think, I kid you not. I kid you not. This guy, I think his parents are cousins, right? His parents are cousins. This guy has a really high IQ, brother. Go translation. Do not hurt me. Yeah. yeah. And what does it say? Don't hurt me, okay? Do not hurt me regarding Aisha. Yes. As the divine inspiration, do not come to me on any of the bad except that I... Ah, uh, so the word is beds, guys. Did you catch it? According to this Indonesian Abdul, beds, that's the correct translation of the Arabic. Uh, Abdul, you are... You are 
fooled. You have been deceived by a false English translation of the Arabic hadith and you are deceiving your audience. So we waited for at least two, three minutes till this guy read the whole hadith. Why are you reading the entire hadith for us, man? Why are you not going exactly to that word? So guys, according to him, it's a, a, the, the English translation uh, is correct. It's bad. It's not the garment. The garment, according to this guy. Of Aisha, right? Aisha, Aisha. He said Aisha. Let me spank him, guys. Let me spank him and spank his prophet, the cross-dressing prophet of Islam. Watch. Let me show you that his prophet is nothing but a transsexual. Transsexual, brada. Transsexual, brada. Okay? Watch. Oh, Lord of mercy. The, guys, sorry for putting you asleep because of this guy, all right? Sorry for that. So this is, this is the hadith, right, guys? Muhammad was cursing. And remember, we said already to you, everything that comes out of the mouth of Muhammad is divine revelation, right? Chapter 53, ayah 34, th sorry, ayah th 3 and 4. Ayah 3 and 4. Chapter 53, ayah 3 and 4. So everything Muhammad says is divine revelation from Allah through Jibreel. So Muhammad said, curse the man who dressed like a woman and the woman who dressed like a man. Okay, so... If you dress like a woman as a man, you are cursed by Allah himself because everything Muhammad says is divine revelation. Right, guys? Did you catch it? All right. So this is the hadith. This is the hadith that he was showing on the screen. And according to him, this word here, Thobi, Thobi, do you see it? According to him, Thobi, Thob, in other words, without the vowel, means beds. That's what he said, right? That's what he said. That's what his translation is saying. No, you idiot. Are you teaching me my own language? Look what it says. Wa ana, wa ana, and I am fi in. Fi means in. Thobi, thobi, right? Thob, thobi. Imraatin. What was what was what is imraatin means? Im, imra. A tin. What does it mean? It means a woman. So in what? In what? In the garment of a woman. Illa Aisha. Except that of Aisha. So in other words, Muhammad said, Divine Revelation, Al-Wahi, al right? Al-Wahi lam ya'tini wa ana fi thawbi imra'atin illa Aisha. Divine revelation does not come to me in the garment of any woman except that of Aisha. That's what Muhammad said in the hadith. Let me show you guys. I went to the, to the Arabic hadith and I copied this part. Watch. And I put it, I put it in Google Translate and I'm going to show you from a different di dictionary, Arabic dictionary website. This is the word, Thobi, right? Thobi. You can use, you can use it. Go to any Arabic English translation website. Thobi imra'atin. A woman's dress. Do you see it? A woman's dress. How did a woman's dress became beds? Guys. You see the idiot how he's, how he's fooling himself. And how he's fooling his audience. His Indonesian Muslim audience. Who have no clue about the Arabic. So beds. They translate it as bets because they are ashamed that Muhammad is a cross-dressing prophet, right? He was wearing the garment, the dress of Aisha. It says imra'atin, fi thobi imra'atin, in the garment of a woman, that of Aisha, right? So we showed you the Google Translate. Now let us go to Al-Ma'ani, Al-Ma'ani. Let me give you the link. So you don't, so you don't need to do your own homework. I'm doing it for you. Do you see this word? Imra'a? Do you see it? This is the same word, right? Let me go to the hadith. Do you see this word that I posted also in the chat? This word, look. This is it. What does it say? Uh-oh. What does it say? Woman. Woman. You idiot. Right? So what does it say? What does it, it is the same word, right? Do you see it, guys? Woman. What does Google Translate say? Thobi imra'atin. Let me play it for you. 
ثوب امرأة Did you hear it? ثوب امرأة A woman's dress So this guy is fooling himself He, You have been spanked You have been served And I hope that the Indonesian Muslims who are watching They know that this guy is a liar He is fooling himself And at the same time directly fooling the Muslim Indonesian audience that are watching his videos uh, My friend you have been cooked you have been barbecued and you've been spanked for everybody to see. You see these evil liars, man? You see these liars? Yeah, so Muhammad clearly said in the hadith, I am in the thobe of Aisha. Because it says, Wa ana, I am fi thobi imra'atin. Did you catch it? Just a second, guys. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Just a second. <clears throat> Let me open Skype, guys. If there is any Muslim who thinks he has the courage, I hope the same guy who has the courage to call me. Do you have any caller, guys? Do you have any caller? Do we have any Muslim who thinks he can defend his cross-dressing prophet? Uh, okay, you want me to change it? Let's see if I can change it. Uh, okay, Arabic to uh, Indonesian. Indonesian. What is it called? Just a second, just a second. What is it? What is it called? Uh, Indonesian what? Bahasa, right? In Indonesian. Guys, what does this say? What does this say? Is it? Is it? Is it saying woman? In the garment of a woman? What does this uh, mean? Indonesians, what does it mean? Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes, Rob, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. Uh, are you a Muslim or a Christian? Me? Uh, well, I, well, I'm Indian. Are you a Muslim or a Christian, my friend? No, 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 I'm a Hindu, I'm a Hindu. Okay, please don't call me. Guys, don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Okay, uh, I don't care if you're Hindu. I, my topic is Islam, guys. Come on. Please don't waste my time. Please. Don't waste my time. <clears throat> so what does this mean, guys? Dress of a woman. Thank you. Even the Indonesian says this. Idiot. Can we maybe... This is English to Arabic. Let's see if we can get... Arabic... Mm, there are only a couple of languages here. Portuguese, French, Arabic, Urdu, no. No Indonesian here, guys. Sorry. So this is from English to Arabic. So I put a woman here and I get the same. Imra'a, woman. Do you see it? English. So it says a woman's dress, a woman's garment, right? Do you see it? So Mr. Abdul from Indonesia, why are you lying and at the same time lying to yourself, deceiving yourself and your Indonesian Muslim audience? Do you have any shame, man? So yes, your prophet became a crossdresser and at the same time he cursed himself. Remember, Muhammad, if he opens his mouth, it's immediately divine revelation from Allah, right? We explained that from chapter 53, ayah 3 and 4. So Muhammad, when he was cursing, he cursed himself. In other words, we can conclude, Muhammad is a crossdresser wearing women's clothing, i.e. the garment of Aisha, because it's talking about thobi imratin, the thobe of Aisha in this case. Anything that comes out of the mouth of Muhammad is divine revelation, as we said. That means Allah himself cursed Muhammad. Congratulations, Muhammad. You have been cursed by Allah himself because you became a crossdresser. Congratulations, uh, Muslims. Your prophet is a transsexual. God, God bless you, Muslims, for following such an evil, cross-dressing, transsexual prophet. Right? Do you have any Muslim, guys? Please don't waste my time. Only Muslims for now. Do you have any Muslim? Do you have, do you have any Muslims? Yeah. Guys, you want you want uh, this guy's uh, 
guys, I, I really don't want to mention any Muslim name, to be honest, especially not these Muslims, right? I, I, if I'm going to mention anyone's name, it was only going to be Farida, because we're going to spank Farida too, right? So we spanked number one guy, right? This is this was the Indonesian translation, right? I just put it in the live chat. So that was number one guy, Abdul, who got spanked. Let us go to number two. Let us go to number two. Let's see if we can play the second video, guys. <clears throat> All right. Here's another Abdul who, who, who he thinks he has the courage to expose me. He has no courage to call me live on air. He thinks he can expo expose me by doing only videos about me. Like this Abdul that you saw earlier. Do we have any Muslim? Before we continue, do we have any Muslim? Rahman, do you want to call me? My Skype ID, as you see in the live chat, provided by the admins. Uh, let me block this same guy who just called me. I'm going to block you because you are not learning. You got this, this Hindu guy. You're, you're a waste of time, man. You don't listen, man. Uh, Rahman, Rahman, call me. Rahman. Yeah, I know Oni Pon. It means a woman's dress. Yes. We already concluded that. We already spanked this guy. Now we are going to the Abdul number two. Right? We're going to go through all of them. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, uh, I blocked him because this guy is not listening. <clears throat> Any Muslim? No Muslim? Okay, we'll continue since uh, as long there are no Muslims, we'll continue. Because I have many videos, guys. I have many videos. Okay, let us continue. This idiot here. He's, try, he's going to try to refute me. Okay, let's put out our uh, headsets and play the video for you. <clears throat> okay, he's playing my voice, it seems. One hadith shows two contradiction, exactly. We showed you that Muhammad so, lied. So guys, he's playing my video, right? He's playing my video from a live show that I was talking about that prophets According to Muhammad, all the prophets, do you see it? All the prophets are, are, are of different mothers, but belong to one religion. And no prophet was raised between me and Jesus. This is from Sahih Muslim, as you see, right? Sahih Hadith. So this guy is going to try to refute it. Saying, all the prophets are of different mothers, which is a lie. We showed you already from the Quran that Aaron is the brother of Moses. Do right? you see it? Quran chapter 19, ayah 53, and we gave him out of mercy his brother Aaron. So guys, according to the Quran, Aaron, do you, you know Aaron, right guys? Aaron plus, plus uh, Musa, right? Moses, are brothers, right? That's what the Quran also confirms. But what did Muhammad say? Let me go back a little bit. What did Muhammad say? He lied, right? He lied, he said, all the prophets are of different mothers. But wait, you are just calling your Allah a liar, Mr. Uh, uh, shaky, shaky prophet of Islam, Mr. Muhammad. You are lying. You are calling Allah a liar because Allah says that Moses and Aaron are brothers. Different mothers, which is a lie. We yeah. showed you already from the Quran that Aaron is the brother of Moses, right? And we gave him out of our mercy his brother Aaron, whose brother? The brother of Moses. Yeah. And my brother Aaron is more fluent than me in tongue, is Moses saying. Do Allah said. So Moses even confirming that Aaron is his brother. So he's his brother. So Muhammad lied in the hadith. Muhammad contradicting the Quran. To Moses, we will strengthen your arm through your brother Aaron. Your brother Aaron. Muhammad said all the prophets are of different mothers. You busted. Busted. So he's, he's going to try to refute it. You liar, you liar Muhammad. You are lying, you so-called prophet of Islam. You are a liar. Exactly, Muhammad is a liar. No, they cannot say that because the Quran claims that, that Aaron is a prophet. So now, now so, so guys, watch, he's going to refute me. He's not going to use voice. Imagine these, these cowards don't dare to even talk. He's going to use only text, watch. Where's the refutation, man? Really? Really? So I, I'm going to, I need to, to read all of this? Guys, look, look at the newspaper, man. Look at the, where's the refutation? 
What this hadith is referring to is that all prophets are from the same father, Abraham. Uh, first of all, why are you doing bid'ah? Where does, where does it say Abraham? Uh, what about Adam? Is Adam our, guys, look at this comedy. Look at this comedy. What about Adam? Is Adam our father before Abraham? So what about Adam and uh, Eve? Uh oh. Adam or Hawa? They call Hawa Eve, right? What about them? So guys, look at who, how he's forcing words that are not in the hadith. What about Adam? So if you are talking about saying that it's talking about Abraham, but of different mothers, what about Adam? Are you going to play such game? I can play those games too, man. It is because Eve is our mother. She's the mother of all the prophets. So no, it's not talking about Hagar or Sarah. If you're going to do that, we can use Adam too and Eve. Yeah, what about Noah? Because Adam, guys, guys, why we can use Adam? Why? Because in Islam, in Islam, Adam is a prophet. Uh oh. Adam is a prophet in Islam. That, that doesn't make sense. Adam is not prophet at all. But according to Muhammad, Adam is, uh, is a prophet. So can, we can use Adam to refute this. So where's the refutation, man? I'm waiting for the refutation. Uh, you, uh, you ask me to read all, I'm not going to read all of that. So we already spank it, spank you, because if you're going to use Abraham, we can use Adam. We can use Nuh, Noah, right? Noah too. But Adam, Adam refutes it, right? Where's the refutation, man? So guys, he's going to the next page, right? Let me, what does the next page says? Jesus was an Israelite prophet, blah, blah, blah. And he's still, still talking about Abraham, you idiot. What about Adam? Because Adam is a prophet. So Eve is still the mother. Are you going to play those games, man? You see, you see this idiot, man? And uh, you see how he's adding to, to the hadith? Where does the hadith says Abraham? Where does the hadith says Adam? It clearly says all the prophets are of different mothers. That's a lie from Muhammad because we can refute that by the Quran itself. The Quran says that Aaron and Moses are brothers. So it refutes that because all the prophets are not from different mothers because Moses and Aaron are from the same mother. Bam! Any Muslim? You see, another Abdul spanked. Abdul number two spanked, who doesn't even dare to open his mouth to refute me. He needs to use texts. Text, man! Oh, they are all suddenly text terrorists, brother. Right? Where's the refutation? Where's the refutation? Idiot. Anyway, next video, guys, what can we do? These are the Muslims of today. Cowards, man! Where is the refutation? We spanked your prophet and there is no refutation. Because if you're going to talk about Abraham, we can talk about Adam and Eve. So you're still busted. And you are adding words that are not in the text. Right? What a shame, man. What a shame. So guys, this idiot is adding to what Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim are not saying. Watch. Quran chapter 19 ayah 53 says, And we gave him out of our mercy, who? His brother Moses, Aaron as a prophet. So both Moses and Aaron are brothers. Right? From the same mother. So Muhammad lied in the hadith and contradicted his own Allah in the Quran. Did you catch it? Quran chapter 28, ayah 34, 35, it says, And my brother, Moses is saying, And my brother, Aaron, is more fluent than me in tongue. Allah said to Moses, We will strengthen your arm through your brother. From the same mother, brother. So Muhammad lied in the hadith. And these Muslims are doing damage control, adding their own words to what Muhammad did not say in the hadith. Watch. Where does it say, Abraham, this is the same hadith, right guys? Sari Muslim, hadith number 2365a. And the prophets are of different mothers. Muhammad lied. Do you see how he lied and contradicted himself? And even in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3443, it says, And Muhammad said, right, Allah's Messenger said, 
The prophets are paternal brothers. Their mothers are different. Did you catch it? But their religion is one. Even the last sentence is lie. Abraham was not a Muslim. Right? Abraham, if you want to use Abraham, Abraham was not a Muslim. He was an Assyrian. Adam was not a Muslim. Moses was a Jew. Son of a Jew. He was an Israelite. You idiot. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Guys, can you see the, 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 the IQ of these idiots that we have to deal with? Can you, can you imagine that these idiots, their IQ, you know, is not even uh, more than a potato, right? And I'm not trying to insult any real potatoes, right? You see it? I'm not trying to, to insult any real potatoes because potatoes have higher IQ than these idiots here. Truly Islam kills brain cells. Islam does kill brain cells and that's the proof in front of you. Alright? Alright? Idiots! So your prophet spanked himself, busted himself and busted his own Allah by contradicting the Quran. Next victim, victim number three, guys, Farida the Mushrik, who, you know, you've seen our videos, right, guys? We uploaded many videos about him. This same Farida who worships his prophet, calling his prophet the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in Deuteronomy 33, 2. Remember? Right? Remember? You saw the video, right, guys? If you didn't see the video, you really need to go see it. Didn't we say that we're going to spank him again? I, again? Guys, it seems that that is my job. My job is to cook these people, man. <coughs> I, my, I made my job to cook these evil sons of Satan who call Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Like Farida, like the merciful servant who went to Isaiah 42, 13, removing the name of God, Jehovah, the Lord, placing three dots and ellipsis, and saying that that's Muhammad. Remember, merciful servant did it. Farida did the same for Deuteronomy 33 too. Remember? Remember guys? This Farida here that you see here? This idiot that you see here? Let's see if, he can, if I can find just a second guys. Look, this is the the one, right? Deuteronomy 33, 2, right? Deuteronomy 33, 2. The Lord, the Lord, Jehovah, came to us at Mount Sinai and dawned upon us from Mount Seir. He shone from Mount Paran, and we showed you that Mount Paran is the south of Israel, right? Between uh, Sinai, Egypt, the, today's Egypt, and Israel, right? Jordan. Northern of Arabia, not all the way south, you idiots. Surrounded by 10,000s. Do you see the S? Not even 10,000 idiots like you, which you claim that it's the Sahaba. Remember what, when, when the, this other guy, the Zakir guy, or whatever his name is, he said it's, uh, right? It's talking about the Mohammedans, right? When Muhammad attacked and conquered Mecca, with the 10,000 companions, i.e. the Sahaba, but it doesn't say 10,000, it says 10,000. Right? And we use this screen in that video that we spanked him, right, guys? Remember? You see? 10,000. So how it, how it, how 10,000 became 10,000 when they attacked and conquered Mecca? You idiots. Can you even read? What does it say? Ten thousands. An S in the end. It could at least be twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty, eighty thousand, hundred thousand of holy what? Angels. Are you saying, Muslims, that the companions suddenly are angels? The companions are angels who march to attack Mecca like a, a thug, thugs, thieves, so these caravan, caravan robbers became angels, guys. Can you, can you, can you imagine? That's what this idiot here said, right? This idiot here. He agreed with Zakir when he played that seven year old video, remember? So angels, according to him, are the Sahaba 
And God himself, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob became Muhammad. You mushrik, son of a mushrik, you are proving to us that you Muhammadans, yes, that's what we Arabic speaking Christians call you. You are Muhammadans because you worship Muhammad, right? You Muslims worship Muhammad. So let me spank him even more, guys. Let me spank this idiot even more, right? Let me spank him even more. Uh, no, snail leopard, my friend, please, please help me to help you. This is not talking about Jibreels. This is, they are claiming, right? They, they are claiming that these are the 10,000s of Sahaba, right? Remember? That's what they claimed in the video. So not, it's not, forget about Jibreel. Please help me to help you, my friend. Okay. I love you, but don't, you know, don't go there, bro. Come on. Please, my friend. Okay. <clears throat> so this guy became an instant mushrik, right? This guy became an instant mushrik. And he has, if he has the audacity to upload a video and say, I repent because he uploaded a video publicly. So Mr. Mushrik, if I was a true sincere Muslim, I would grab you by your beard, right? This sexy beard of yours, drag you over the floor, clean the floor with your beard because you became a mushrik and I would have forced you within three days to repent because you became a mushrik and an apostate. You know, normally according to Sharia they got three days. If you don't repent, they are allowed to kill you. So why are the Muslims not forcing you to become a Muslim again? Why are they not forcing you, right? Why are you not going and grabbing by this beard? Because he became a mushrik, he humiliated you, he humiliated his own prophet, calling him the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. An ab absolutely certified donkey, yeah. And I'm not trying to insult any real donkeys, guys. Forgive me, I'm talking to the donkeys. Forgive me for associating this idiot here with you. I'm not trying to insult any real donkey, guys. Come on. Yes, in this case, does mean God himself. Do you see? The Lord, Jehovah, you idiots. Anyone who has the audacity still to call our holy God, God forbid, it's a blasphemy, it's shirk to associate Muhammad with our God. Thank you for, wow, ENVT, thank you for the super chat, God bless you. Well, I'm speechless. Thank you so much, my friend. God bless you and your loved ones. So let us continue spanking him. Let me play another video of this idiot here that you see. And we're going to continue bringing down the hammer. The bombs that we have in our pockets on his face. And I hope that we have Farida fans watching. And they must be really ashamed of what we're going to show further. Watch. This is another video from Farida. Do you see the lovely beard of his? Uh, look at this sexy beard, man. Look at this beard, man. There are five Farida fans at least, yeah. They must be really, really proud about Farida getting spanked today again. Watch. Anyways, let's see what uh, Ridwan has for us today. So he's going to talk about the apostate creatures prophet, right? called jinns exist, and jinns. the majority of Muslims believe in their existence. Even though Islam claims to be fulfilling Christianity and Judaism, two mm -hmm. religions that never had such stories of some uh, weird beings that live in a parallel world like humans and uh, also go to heaven and hell. Watch yes, guys, watch. according to Focus. Islam, jinns are born, they live, and they die. They mm -hmm. walk among us in a parallel world. They have. They can have sex uh, with women, Muslim women. They can have sex uh, with Muslim and when men. When they die, they are judged yeah. in front of Allah. Jinns are crazy in uh, beings is, in Islam. If jinns are real and exist in Islam, if mm -hmm. they are so important that they even existed before humans, and yeah. that the Almighty God speaks to them. So, guys, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Farida is going to try to refute the apostate prophet, right? who is a dear friend of ours as well. Then why were they never mentioned by Christians and Jews? Why were they not mentioned by the prophet? Exactly. Why do uh, Christians, do you know, do you, f do you find anything called jinns in Christianity or in the Bible? Uh, I'm talking to our audience in the chat, in the live chat. Do we Christians have anything in our scripture called jinns? Jane Miller says no. Pramod Bonsley says no. Snow Leopard says no. Frogs are locked down a lot of people on the, on the, on the internet, right? Guys, refresh. Refresh. Give me one if you're still with us, guys. 
We had we just had a hiccup. Uh, Sharia tube is trying to close us down. I think. <laughs> Refresh. 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 Okay, we're back. Thank God, we're back. Refresh. Tell admins, tell the people to refresh, please, so we can continue. So the question was again. Sorry, guys, I cannot help it. It's the internet. What can we do? And this is a live show. Again, Christians, do you believe that there are something called jinns in Christianity or in our scripture? No, right? That's the answer. I sure. I sure, guys. Okay, many knows. I only see knows. What's going on, Christians? Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Okay, you are sure. Okay, so look what uh, Farida, watch what Farida is going to say next. Watch. Would jinns not have any role in the Bible? Some Muslim You're sure, right, Christians? You're sure, okay. And then good, they good, take good. Uh, some biblical references to demons and imply that, uh, that jinns were also mentioned in the Bible. Which is false, right? But Farida is trying to force the jinns in our scripture. Watch. If you read the Bible impartially or from a Christian or Jewish point of view, there is just no such thing in the Bible. Well, I guess the only way to find out if Ridvan is correct is by actually going through the Bible. Okay, hmm. show us. Farida, show us. Uh, teach us our Bible, please. To teach us our Bible. Farida. Okay, so it looks like... Um, yeah, these demons slash spirits will be judged. Guys, so he's claiming, guys, do you see what he's, what he's doing? No, uh, refresh, Joanna, refresh. It's from your side because he says it's okay. All right, refresh. So guys, he's, he's going to try to force. He's going to try to force the genes in our Holy Bible. Watch. It also looks like they will cause seizures cripple people. He's going through the Gospels, do you see it? Give people great strength, deceive, perform signs or miracles, possess man, possess animals, cause blindness and muteness, and were worshipped. Sounds like jinns to me. So did you hear it? Did you hear what he said? Sounds like jinns to me. That's what he said. Farida said, Sounds like jinns to me. So guys, Farida is teaching our Holy Bible. He's trying to teach us our Holy Bible. He's trying to teach the Christians our Holy Bible. Can you imagine? This idiot here, he doesn't know his own, own Quran, right? And he's trying to teach us our Holy Bible by trying to force the jinns to refute the apostate prophet, right? Remember when they made this, this is the six hour long video, right? Do you see it? The six hour long video about the apostate prophet that I completely annihilated and so did Christian Prince. Right? So let us destroy this donkey once more. Let us barbecue this donkey once more. Watch. I hope you are taking notes guys. Watch how easy it is going to be. First we'll start with the Quran to destroy this evil son of Satan, right? Guys, are you still with me? Give me one, please. Because I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, we have many people watching. Just to be sure that you're still following. Okay, thank you for the one. All right. Chapter 55, Surah Ar-Rahman. Chapter 55, Ayah 15. Watch. And created jinn from the flame of fire. So Allah, guys, Allah created jinn from the flame of fire. Guys, demons like Satan according to the Bible. Let me type it in the chat. What is he? What is he, guys? What is a demon in according to the Bible? Because I'm trying to include you in this in this refutation too, guys. I'm trying to help you know help me to help you so we can refute this donkey. Someone is saying they are fallen angels. Exactly. We don't believe in jinns. In Christianity, in the Bible, there's nothing called jinns, you idiot. You want to force your Islamic false doctrine, this evil doctrine of Satan, which you call Allah, inside our Bible. Why are you doing that? Your Quran has nothing to do with our Bible. We reject your Quran. We completely reject your fake prophet. Why are you trying to force your Quran, your Islam inside our scripture? 
No, we don't believe in Christianity. And I challenge you, Mr. Farida, to make a video like you always do because you're a coward. You will never ever face us in a real debate. You, I challenge you to make a response video about me. I, I know you, I know that you are watching. I know that your boyfriends are watching. Your fans are watching. So my video will reach you. I know, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not born yesterday, idiot. Okay. So I hope you're going to do a response video about me, about this very video. Because I'm going to spank you. There's nothing called jinns in Christianity, let alone in our holy scripture, i.e. the Bible. Right? Watch. So according to the Quran in Ayah 15, chapter 55, Ayah 15, jinns are created from smokeless fire. Right? From a flame of fire. But if we go to the Bible, guys, let's go, for example, to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4 we can read the following for if God did not spare angels so guys angels who are going against God right when they sinned so when angels sin right when angels angels sin God is going to punish them and he's going to cause them to hell so it's talking about angels angels who became fallen angels, i.e. Satan, who was an angel and he became a fallen angel by going against God, right? Rebel against God and he became a fallen angel. So there's nothing called jinns in Christianity or let alone the scripture, you idiot. See, guys, do you see how Muslims love to force their evil Islam inside our Holy Bible? So Satan himself was an angel and he became a fallen angel and God punished him. Do you see it? And he punished him how? By sending him to hell to get over these other fallen angels. Do you see it guys? You see how these people are liars? <clears throat> Do you see how these evil liars are trying their best to deceive their own Muslim audience? And do you see how easy it is to spank these idiots? So he's associating his falsehood, which is the Islam, trying it to force it in our holy Bible. You evil son of Satan, Mr. Farida. We don't believe in jinns, you idiot. There is nothing called jinn. I challenge you if you can show me the word jinn in our holy Bible. If you can do that, Farid, if you can make a response video, show us the word jinn in the holy Bible. I will going to delete my YouTube channel. I will stop spanking you almost every week. Does that sound fair, guys? Is that a good deal? Again, Farida, I know you're listening. If you can show me and make a response video and show us one verse from the Holy Bible where it speaks of jinn, then I'm going to delete my YouTube channel and I will stop spanking you almost every week. Is that a good deal, guys? What, what do you think, uh, our, our audience in the live chat? Sounds fair, right? I mean, uh, you saw David Wood. Now, now it's my turn, guys. Come on, let, let us make it fair. I mean, uh, David Wood, I love you, bro. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm allowed to do a challenge too, brother. <laughs> Farid, what is Farida? You know, you don't know who Farida is? This, this idiot who called Muhammad the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He became an instant mushrik. He became an instant blasphemer. And his boyfriends are not grabbing him by the beard calling him an, a liar and a murtad, forcing him to repent within three days, right? Because you're allowed to be killed in Islam if you become a murtad, right? Right? And since you are from Yemen, I think Yemen, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, Yemen has what? It has Sharia law. All right? Farida, if, if they know what you did, if they know when you go to Mecca and you're going to do Hajj, right? If they know what you said and did, they will grab you by your beard and force you to repent in three days. You don't repent, they are allowed to cut off your head, man. Yeah, Mushrik, son of a Mushrik. And this guy is a coward, he will never, never debate me or let alone our dear brother, the living legend himself, Christian Prince, Mr. Christian Prince. Right? You see, you see these cowards, man? You see this evil son of Satan? You see them? 
Sean K says, I will delete my channel too if you can provide us one verse from the Bible where it's talking about jinns. <laughs> well, that's a good deal. I mean, come on, man. Look how many people. I'm, it seems that I'm not the only one, man. <laughs> uh, you Ferida, you became the joke. I Guys, I, we gave this idiot so many spanking lately. It's enough spanking for one year. Enough spanking for one year, Farida. Man, if I was the guy, really tr honest to God, if I was this guy, I would have shaved my beard. I would have shaved my two feet long beard. You know, guys, my beard is longer than his. Can you imagine? This guy, you know, maybe it's like 10 centimeters or something. My beard is even longer and it's more white, all right? Sometimes I dye it red like Muhammad. <laughs> I would have shaved my beard. I would have deleted my YouTube channel if I had dignity and honor but you have no honor you have no dignity and you have no self-respect mr farid Elsa, you will have done it long time ago after the spanking that we gave you uh arnis this guy lately he uh, you know many muslims are even calling him uh you know a master they're calling him all kind of names he became like the hero right he's telling a christian prince this idiot here this he's one of these idiots who only sits on youtube he has no courage to face us in a debate right so he's a fraud he's a mushrik he's a blasphemer and he's lying about our holy bible and he just got spanked again right farida yeah farida farida there's nothing called jinns Surprise, surprise! There's nothing called jinns in Christianity, you idiot! <laughs> Lord of mercy. Guys, let us continue. Let us continue the spanking. Guys, didn't we promise you that we're going to go through all of them? This is the third, fourth, fourth refutation, right guys? The fourth one. I already lost count. I think the fourth one. Let us continue. Uh, you know what, guys? Before we actually continue, before we actually continue, a small coffee break. I'm out of water, guys, and my throat is started to, uh, to itch. So give me two minutes, we'll continue our live show. Be right back, coffee break. Did you like the song? It's from the Karate Kid. Uh, the song's name is uh, the High, wi High Wire. High Wire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, you know, I, you know, it was my time, man. You know, I when that video, uh, when that movie came out, guys. <laughs> yeah, what can we do? I'm an old school guy, guys. Yeah, I got myself some water. <clears throat> I got myself some water, so we can continue the spanking. Phil Herrera, how dare you, man? Phil Herrera, do you want me to block you, man? <laughs> You're calling this song rubbish, man? Go clean your mouth, bro. Nah, you know, eh, it's okay, man. <laughs> nah, it's okay, it's okay. Guys, let us uh, let us continue. Let us continue this thing. Let me put on my headset again, guys. I advise you to do the same, so we can focus to what they say, right? And everything they say will be used against their own prophet in the court of law, right, guys? <clears throat> so your prophet, Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Uh, what, what's his name again? Mr. Uh, Blasphemer, Farida. You became an instant mushrik, right? By going to Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. And uh, you called you called your prophet a liar because you are trying to say that your prophet is forcing jinn, right? You're, you're, because you are saying that, that means automatically Muhammad is saying that, right? Because you agree with your prophet that there's something called jinn and you want to go to the Bible and force jinns inside our holy Bible, which is false. You have been refuted, you have been spanked and you have been served for everybody to see. So let us continue. Let us <clears throat> continue. Oh. Uh oh. Another video from Farida. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Another video from Farida. Let's see if we can play it. I'll also open some screens here in the background to refute this idiot donkey here that you see. Uh, all right. Girls, why are you guys still here, by the way? I'm doing this because I feel compelled to. I thought that you'd all be bored of me thrashing him every day, but I guess... Look how he's mocking a busted prophet. ...this than I thought. Eh, let's get to the video. I want to talk about a specific phrase that you'll hear very often from moderate Muslim apologists. Uh, Bismillah. Everyone knows I'm not a moderate, so let's see. Yeah, we know you're a jihadi, Abdul. Really yeah, we know, we know. Going to attach myself to. If you're hearing and reading a lot about Islam, you might have heard the phrase a lot. There is no compulsion in religion. Really? Only moderate Muslims? Uh, we know, we know. We know you are using taqiyya. The phrase comes from the Quran in chapter 2, verse 256. It goes, there is no compulsion in religion. The right course has become clear from the wrong. Apparently, only moderate Muslims use the Quran. Uh, traditional conservative Muslims like myself apparently only accept, uh, I don't know, um, the Old you Testament. You see how he's mocking? Now, I want to stay fair. Yeah, you fuck but filthy I want to liar. Make two points in advance filthy about this Quran first. The first point is that this Quran verse was revealed at a much earlier time exactly. than later verses like the sword verse exactly. in order to fight the non muslims So guys, in other words, what Apostate uh, Prophet is saying, our friend Apostate Prophet is saying, that this verse has been abrogated, right? It has been abrogated like chapter 9-5, the sword verse, right? Surat al-Qital, or other words, uh, you know, uh, the chapter of the sword, right? That's the nickname of this chapter. Chapter 9, Ayah 5. Chapter 9, Ayah 28, 29, right? How there is no compassion in religion has been abrogated. Let's see what the this Farida, this Mushrik Farida is going to say. Wherever you find them. It was exactly. also most likely revealed long before exactly. verse 29 Do you see it? in chapter So he agrees with me and I agree with him. orders the Muslims to fight all exactly those who don't prophet. believe in Islam yes. and yes. to force the jizya on them. This exactly. is an important point, because if you are familiar with Islamic theology, you should know that if some Quran verses contradict each other in any way, the verse that was revealed later is more valid. It abrogates guys, it. Did exactly. you catch what the uh, apostate prophet said? So basically, what happened, guys, are you with me? This is important, guys. Give me one of you with me. Don't pay attention to these Abduls who just joined the chat. They came, you know, to uh, basically uh, take you out from the... Take your focus out from the teaching of today. So basically, guys, what apostate prophet is saying, he's not lying in any shape or form. Apostate prophet is right. You know, according to Islam, if you have an ayah that came before, let's say Muhammad is in Mecca, right? You have the Meccan part of the, uh, of the Quran and you have the Medina part of the Quran. According to, to the Islamic teaching, if the Meccan part, which came so-called before, right, from Allah, when Muhammad was in Mecca with the pagans of Mecca, he was very nice, he tried to be nice with the pagans, right? He, start, he tried to be uh, uh, friends with them, to reconcile with them, right? This is why he bowed down to their idols. We have mentioned this in many of our teaching, when he bowed to Allah tal and he gave them the satanic verses. He was really nice, he was peaceful. But when Muhammad went to Medina, he became very violent. He guarded himself an army of thugs, right? And he became very violent. He turned 
180 degrees the other way, from being peaceful to being very violent. And that was from the start his personal agenda, right? Because when he was in Mecca, Muhammad had no power. He had no army. But when he went to Medina, he guarded himself an army of thugs. He started to rob the caravans of the pagan Meccans, right? And Muhammad became very violent. So in the Meccan part, Muhammad is peaceful. But in the Medinian part of the Quran, Muhammad is contradicting himself, right? From being... And, they, and we call it, in other words, we call it abrogation. <laughs> you know, Muhammad kept abrogating himself, saying that it's Allah is doing the abrogation, right? No, Abdul, no, no. Guys, let me show you, let me prove to you that this guy is a, nothing but a liar and a deceiver, right? Because he's, he's refuting that chapter 2, ayah 256. He's trying, right, to refute that chapter 2, ayah 256 is not abrogated. You're a liar. You have no shame, man. You're a liar. Right? Well, guys, let me see if I can put it on the screen. Just a second. All right, all right. Look. This is chapter 2. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it on the screen? <clears throat> chapter 2. Same chapter. Same ayah. 2. Ayah 256. If we scroll down, guys, right, we go to page two of the tafsir by who? By Asbab al Nusul, by Al Wahidi. Tafsir Asbab al Nusul, by Al Wahidi. Look what it says, guys. Read with me. All right? Maybe Rob Christian is lying. Right? This is, by the way, for the people who don't know, this is the Royal Ahlul Bayt. This is the Royal Ahlul Bayt website. Who is the owner of this website? The King of Jordan himself. The King Jordan of the King of Jordan himself, a Sunni Muslim. This was so. This ayah, guys, read with me, please. This ayah was before the Messenger of Allah. Allah is praying on him. There's nothing called bless. Allah is praying on him, give him peace. Was commanded to find the people of the book, but 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 but. But then Allah is saying, there is no compulsion in religion. Do you see it? Was what? Abrogated. Uh oh. What does it say? Abrogated. It was abrogated. Uh oh. Who abrogated it? Allah Himself abrogated it. Uh oh. So, Mr. Uh, Farida, you're a liar. You're busted again. How many times did we bust this idiot? Three times already, right? This Farida boy. Farida, you're an evil son of Satan. Not are you only lying about our Holy Bible, you are also lying about Islam and the Quran of Allah. So Allah abrogated, there is no compulsion in religion. And the Prophet was commanded to fight the people of the book in Surah Repentance. What is Surah Repentance? That's chapter 9, verses like 9, 5, 9, 28, 29. Right? To make it even more for Farida. Yes, I have even more bigger weapons for Farida. To make it even more worse for Farida, let's see what Muhammad said in the, in the hadith. Sahih Muslim, brother. Sahih Muslim, yeah. Sahih Muslim. What does Sahih Muslim say? Let me make it a little bit smaller, guys, for you. Sahih Muslim, guys. Hadith number 21b. Do you see it? Hadith number 21b. Do you see it? Let me give you the link. Maybe the admins can give the link too. Hadith number 21b. Let me make it bigger. Maybe you cannot see it correctly. You see it? Hadith number 21b. Sahih. Sahih Muslim. This is not a Rob Christian. <laughs> Muhammad says, the message of Allah say, look, watch guys. Take notes, please. Save those links, guys. Help me to help you so you can use it in your debates with Muslims. Whenever they bring up, there is no compulsion in religion, brother. These idiots have no clue what Muhammad said and what happened, how Allah abrogated it. I have been commanded to fight against the people. Do you see it? Muhammad says, I have been commanded to fight against the people. This is not to kiss them or give them a hug. No, this is to fight and kill them. Fight meaning killing. It's not kissing <laughs> or hugging. No, it's killing. Fight to kill. I've been commanded to fight against people. Till, till, till they testified.
to, to the fact that there is no God but Allah and believe in me that I'm the messenger of Allah. So basically you have to recite the Shahada, right? You don't recite the Shahada, become Muslim, you will die. And Muhammad continues saying, making it even more clear, and in all that I have brought, and when you do it, your blood, do you see it? Your blood and riches are guaranteed protection. Protection from who? From Muhammad's hands. On my behalf, except where it's justified by law. And there it rests with Allah. So you see, so you see uh, how we showed you from two sources that Muhammad confirming Allah himself abrogating it. There is no compulsion religion. And Muhammad in the hadith make it even more clear. I have been commanded to fight all the people against the people till they testify that there is no God but Allah. And believe in me, I am the messenger of Allah. So you have to recite the shahada or else, or else. Exclamation mark. Do you see the religion of pieces, brother? Pieces, yeah, the religion of pieces, brother. So what, uh, there is no compulsion. It's abrogated, man. Chapter 9, Surah Al-Saif, right? Chapter of the sword. Surah Al-Qital, chapter of fighting, abrogated it. Right? And when they do it, so when they recite the Shahada, when they recite the Shahada, if you do, if you become a Muslim, then and only then your blood is safe and your wealth, your women, even your women. If you don't become a Muslim, Muhammad will take your women as sex slaves. The Muslims are allowed to take your women as sex slaves. Do you see how evil Islam is? Do you see that Islam is nothing but a mafia cult? Mr. Farida, again, you have been spanked. You have been served for everybody to see today is your janaza brother today is your janaza again yet again it's your janaza brother that's what muslims always say all right when they think when they think they want to debate it's your janaza brother no it's your janaza mr farida yeah miskin son of a miskin yeah jaban ibn jaban you coward son of a coward you evil liar son of satan you have been spanked guys how many spanking does this guy need that it's enough for one year? If this guy has any shame, any dignity or honor, he would delete his YouTube channel and he's going to need to go do Hajj, go to Mecca, smooch the black stones, give it a little lick here, a lick there, some kisses here and some rubbing there. So maybe the black stones can suck his sins out of him. Right? Lick it good, brother. Lick it good. Smooch the black stones. Maybe the black stones can suck your sins, brother. Uh, Phyllis, thank you for the super chat, my friend. What a burden. Muslim reigns, regurgating, peace be upon him. Yeah, like a broken record. Yeah, you know, Allah, Allah did not give Muhammad peace. So Muhammad need to say it always. Peace be up on, upon him. Peace be upon him. Yeah. He's not in a, a state of peace. This is why the Muslims need always to say, Oh, Muhammad needs always peace from them, right? Because he's not in a state of peace. He's in hellfire. That's why. Keep licking those stones, brother. Maybe will Allah forgive you for your shirk, for your lies and deception, brother. Okay, let us go to another video, guys. Forget about Farida. Farida is cooked, right? He's cooked, he's served. Let us go to another idiot. But we can spank guys I I if I if we go uh, if we if we go continue there is no Muslim apologist left man guys if we continue doing what we do there is no single Muslim apologist left I mean they claim that Farida is one of the best can you imagine they claim that Farida is one of their best can you imagine guys how easy it is to cook him anyway let us continue guys this guy needs more spanking for another we'll do that another time but today is enough we gave him enough spanking uh, for today all right let us continue what about this video let's see if we can play another video for you guys guys are you enjoying yourselves i hope you got some salt yourself some popcorn man sharing is caring brother yeah they claim that farida is one of the best 
I really hope that he's going to do Hajj and he's going to smooch that black stone of his. Maybe Allah, maybe then Allah will forgive him, brother. Keep smooching the black stones, brother. Lick, give it a lick here, a lick there. Guys, I think, man, we're doing a lot of damage today. Guys, you have some homework to do, please. If you like our spanking of today, download our video, cut it in parts. Maybe it's long, I know. Cut it in parts and upload them in small parts because Muslims, you know, Muslims uh, are lazy. So you cut the parts and download it into pieces, you know, because smaller videos are much easier to watch, right? So guys, Christians, please, if you love me as I love you, download our videos, cut them in parts, and upload them on your own YouTube channels. Do what you have to do, Christians. Help those poor victims that we call Mohammedans. We don't hate Muslims, guys. You know that, right? We Christians don't hate anyone. But we use tough love, right? Righteous anger to expose these son of Satan. Maybe they wake up and become Christians. They leave this evil cult of theirs. They drop Muhammad like a bag of sand and come back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's why we do it, right? We use tough love with them. You know, sometimes love can be, you know. It's called righteous anger, brother. So let us continue the spanking. So this Abdul here, he made a video about me. I'm not going to mention his name. I'm not going to give them any credits. And he's going to try to refute me. He has no audacity. He, ha he has no audacity to use the mic. He's going to do it with text again. These Abduls are cowards, man. They are too afraid to record voice because they know if, if the voice is on YouTube, it's going to stay on YouTube and everything that you see on YouTube cannot be unseen, right? You remember the meme? Everything that is being seen cannot be unseen. <laughs> so this coward here is, does not dare to use voice. So he's going to use it in a different way. Watch. Is this is my video, right? Video. And only for Allah. Exactly. According to the Muslims. So if you do tasbih, if you you sabbih someone else, and that means Allah. you are no. committing blasphemy, you are committing shirk. So basically guys, what I'm trying to say here, Islam 101 teaches, only Allah should get tasbih, to glorify Allah and Allah alone, no one else. Tasbih is only for Allah, right Muslims? You agree, right Muslims? Tasbih, to sabbih, ana usabbih Allah, is only and Allah for Allah, uh, only and only for Allah. I glorify Allah alone, as if you, if you call yourself a Muslim, right? You cannot glorify, uh, let's say, Rob Christian. You cannot glorify uh, the Imam of Mecca. You can only glorify, tasbih is only for Allah, right? Uh, we can agree on that, right Muslims? So let so us tasbih, see. tasbih, or Subhan is only for Allah, hence Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah, right? If you say Subhan Rob Christian, you are already committing blasphemy. And you're out of Islam. <laughs> so Subhan is only and only for Allah. Glory in Islam is only and only reserved to Allah. Exactly. The moment you say glory to someone else, Tasbih, Subhan, you are already committing blasphemy. You are associating partners with Allah. So far, so good. Let's hope he can keep it. That Look, he's trying to mock me, guys. You see how he's using a robotic sound? So far, so good. Let's hope he can keep it that way. Always hope there is. The way. Using, using Star Wars. Though. As you see here, this is an ayah from the Quran. This is chapter Al-Fatih. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. Watch, guys. Let me read the Arabic for you. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا The English translation says that you may believe in God, i.e. Allah, and His Messenger, and assist Him in battle, and honor Him, and glorify Him in Tasbih, to sabbihu. Yeah. Now, according Every to Arabic evening. grammar rules, I as an Arabic native speaker from the Middle East, they taught us at school that according to Arabic grammar rules, the last person mentioned in an ayah like this or in an Arabic sentence like this 
all the words that come after go back to the last person and the last person alone. In this case, the man. Good job, Rob. Hmm. Why are you not playing my whole video, you idiot? You see how they are cutting parts out, guys? Did you see this evil son of Satan? How is how is how is? Why did you what you why did you stop here? See, he's not even allowing me to finish. Anyway, you know some Arabic basics. You surprise us every time. Wow, I know, guys. I know only basic Arabic. Okay, so he's mocking me, right? He's mocking me. Watch. But as always, you disappoint us right after. Okay. What Rob said about Arabic was correct, in a sense. Uh, you coward, you coward. Why are you using a robotic voice? Are you scared that I'm going to make you famous? Are you scared that I'm going to make you famous in front of your heroes? Things like that. All the words belong to the last person mentioned. Here we have the first one in the sentence, Allah. Yes. And here we have someone being described as a belonging to the first one in the sentence. Yes. So since Muhammad here is being described as a belonging to someone else, he can Look how I'm going to cook him, guys. Watch how I'm going to cook because him. Because he's considered one of these belongings to the first one in the sentence. Now you might ask, if that was the case, then how can you assist Allah? Okay, guys, here's the one million dollar question that he's asking himself too, right? I mean, if it's it goes back, you know, guys, uh, let, let me put it this way. I'm going to explain it even uh, easier for you. Just in a moment, okay? How is it possible that when you have the last person, which is Muhammad in this sentence, how does it that the all, all verbs, right? To assist him in battle, to uh, give him honor and glorify him. How does it go back to Allah? It should go back to the last person and the last person alone, according to Arabic grammar rules. Not my own rules. That's what they taught us in the Middle East when we went to school. So this guy, this guy is going to teach me Arabic, guys. Watch. So how, I mean, if, if that in this case, how can you assist Allah? Guys, he's going to answer this question. How can you assist Allah? Look, look, look at his, look at his, at his embarrassing answer. Watch. Basically by spreading his message. That's it. That's the answer, guys. Basically by spreading the message of Allah, that's how you assist Allah in battle. What? You see this bankruptcy of these liars and deceivers? Guys, that's the answer. That's the answer. Allah needs assistance. Do you have more? Do you have more? Okay, so he has no more. He's going to mock me about my Arabic. Okay, guys, I never claim to be an Arabic scholar. I My Arabic is good enough to spank you, spank your Allah, spank your Prophet, Show the blasphemy in the Quran over and over and teach your Allah Arabic lessons. How many times did we show you in our live shows that Allah needs go to go back to school, take some Arabic lessons again because he failed. He got an F in his Arabic grammar and spelling. So this guy asked this question. If that was the case, then how can, Allah, how can you assist Allah, right? That's the one million dollar question. The answer Basically was... By spreading his message. This is his answer, guys. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to cook you. I'm going to force you to go smooch the black stones like your boyfriend Farida. The spanking that I'm, go I'm going to give you now is go enough spanking for one year too. Watch, guys. Watch how easy it is to, to spank this idiot. Watch. Watch. This is what he used, right, guys? Because Allah is the owner. Muhammad is his Rasul, right? He belongs to Allah. That means, according to his logic, all the verbs that come after belong to the owner. You're a liar. That's, what not, that's not what the Arabic grammar rules say. If you went to school, you should have learned the last person. It's a person. Everything that come after, in this case, to assist him in battle, to honor or respect him, and to glorify tasbih, subhan tasbih, Glorification, to glorify him, who? The Rasul. Go back only to the Rasul. And I'm going to prove that. I'm going to prove that. Watch. Watch. Uh, let's see. Okay. I went, guys. I went to the tafsir. Let's say Rob Kishin is lying. 
right? Let's say Rob Christian is lying. Uh, I hope, do we, do we have any Arabic speaking uh, Christians in the, in the live chat, guys? To help me to help you. Do we have Arabic speaking Christians here? To confirm what I'm about to say. Give me one if you are an Arabic speaker, please. Give me one if you're an Arabic speaker and you can read and write Arabic. Do we have Arabic speaker here, guys? Anyone? ATM, do you know Arabic? Any Arab? Mimi B? Okay, I speak. Okay, we have at least two. Three. Three. Okay, at least three people. Okay, good. So you can confirm. Good, good, good. Chapter 48, the same chapter, same ayah, right? Surah Al-Fatih, Al-Fatih, uh, chapter 48, ayah 9, right? Same chapter, same ayah that he is trying to refute me about. If we scroll down, you see this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. Do you see it? Al-Qurtubi. This is not Rob Kishan's Tafsir, this is Tafsir who? Al-Qurtubi. Very, very trusted Muslim scholar for the Quran. Highly respected. One of the old school daddies. It says, Ummahat al Tafsir, right? So he's one of the mother of Tafsir. <laughs> they, that's what they call it, right? Like uh, Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, uh, uh, all of them, right? Al Qurtubi, yeah, Al Qurtubi. So he's base, his Tafsir is basically the mother of all Tafsir. Can you imagine how important his Tafsir is? If we scroll down, it says here, وقال وقال ابن 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 عباس وقال ابن عباس it's the ابن عباس وقال ابن عباس ابن عب who's ابن عباس guys the cousin of Muhammad right the cousin of Muhammad who his nickname is the ink of the ummah this is not a joke guy right he's not a joke in Islam he is the ink of the ummah what does that mean Rob Christian basically he's the Highest one for Quran Tafsir. That's what Muhammad gave him the nickname, right? Muhammad himself gave the nickname to Ibn Abbas. Right? The ink of the Ummah, the ink of the nation, the ink of the Islamic nation. That means he's the, he's the chief of all chiefs. So Ibn Abbas said, تقاتلون or تقاتلون معه بالسيف. Uh oh, what does what does assisting mean, right? Because this is explaining the assistance, right, guys? It's ex explaining the assistance. Let me copy it and put it in Google Translate. This part that I copied and put it in tra Google Translate says this: You fight with him with the sword. <laughs> وَتُعَزِّرُوا In the Quran, right? Let me, let me go to the Quran to show you what I'm trying to say. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. Bear with me, guys. Make it smaller for you to see it. Let me use a more easier translation. Okay. So here, chapter 48, Ayah 9. This word here, وَتُعَزِّرُوا Right? Means to assist him or to reference him in battle. Right? That's what Ibn Abbas said. Do you see? So it's not talking about Allah. It's talking about Muhammad. Did you catch it? It's talking about Muhammad. Because you have to fight with Muhammad with the sword. Ma'ahu. With him. Do you see it? With him. With him. That's what Ibn Abbas said. That's not what Rob Christian said. That's what Ibn Abbas said. That's what the meaning of what to aziruhu means. This verb here, right? So it goes back to Muhammad. It does not go back to Allah, as the Abdul said. Do you see how easy it is to spank this idiot? An ATM, thank you for confirming. You're an Arabic speaker. So we have at least one Arabic speaker who just confirmed what I said. So are you saying, Mr. Abdul, son of Abdul, you, you evil son of Satan, you liar, you deceiver. Are you calling Ibn Abbas a liar who Muhammad himself called the ink of the Ummah? That's what Muhammad said, right? Muhammad said, Ibn Abbas is the ink of the nation. The, what nation? The Muslim nation. 
Are you trying to throw Ibn Abbas under the bus, Mr. Abdul? Please do so. Please make a respond video and try to refute me. I challenge you. I challenge you to make a video about me and call me a liar so I spank you even more. I'm not even trying, guys. Do you see how easy it is for me? I only went to Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, do you, are you saying that you know the Quran better than Ibn Abbas? You evil son of Satan. What did this Abdul say? Let me go back. What did he say? Just, you know, just to remember what he said, right? Just to make sure. What did he say? What does it mean? Uh, let me go to that part. What now does it you mean? might ask, if that was the case, then how can you assist Allah? How can you assist Allah? Basically by spreading his message. You evil son of Satan liar. <laughs> you evil liar. You have no honor. You have no shame. You have no dignity. Because you just throw Ibn Abbas under the bus. Are you saying that you know better than Al-Qurtubi? Are you saying that you know better than Ibn Abbas? Is that what you're saying? Is, just, is that what you're trying to say? Do we have any Muslim guys? Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Do you, do, is there any Muslim who wants to refute me? <clears throat> Abbas, are you there Abbas? You want to call me and help? Your brother's out? Ibn Abbas is da'if, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I challenge any Muslim to call me and say that Ibn Abbas is a son of a liar. He's a liar and his daddy is a liar. And let us throw him under the bus. I challenge you. Any Abdul? You see Muslim, Muslims when they are in the live chat or in our comment section when we finish the video, they all become lies. <laughs> but when we ask them to call us, when we are live on air, they become all meow, meow, kittens. You see? In the comment section and in the live chat, there are reliance. But they do not dare to call us live on air. They all become kittens. Guys, you see how, how this evil religion cannot be defended, guys? Where is Farida when you need him, man? Farida, Fifi, Fifi, where are you, Fifi? Come on, man, help your brothers out, brother. Yeah, they all become pussycats. <sighs> you see how these guys are nothing but liars and deceivers, guys? Do you see it? Liars, man, you, you have no shame, you Muslims have no shame. Guys, in other words, in a nutshell, help me to help you. Take a screenshot when, when you ever debate a Muslim about chapter 48, ayah 9. Tafsir al-Qurtubi that we just read for you for chapter 48, ayah 9, Ibn Abbas said, the word, wa tu'azziru, tu'azziru, assist him in battle means you fight with him with the sword. With who? With Muhammad, not with Allah. Allah, I, Allah didn't come. Allah did not enter time and space to come and fight. No, Allah is above his creation. That's what Islam says, right? So it's talking about Muhammad. So do you see guys? The first verb already explains it. You have to assist Muhammad in battle. You have to respect or honor Muhammad. And you have to do tasbih. Subhan, tasbih. You have to what to sabbihuhu. You have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Did you catch it? I made it white for you to make it easy. Rasul, Ras, Rasuli, right? The messenger. So you have to glorify Muhammad, the messenger, every morning and evening. Do you see, guys? In a nutshell, do you see? Do you see how Muhammad forced all Muslims to glorify him? Tasbih. And I thought that Subhan is only for Allah. Tasbih is only for Allah. Do you see how Muhammad made himself equal with Allah? Shirk 101. Blasphemy 101. Here that we just found. Here Muhammad made poo poo and he made himself equal with Allah when he wrote this ayah, when he fabricated this ayah.
É bem! Uh, uh, Abbas from Speaker's Corner, you will never refute me because you don't know Arabic. You need to know Arabic how to refute me, brother. Right? You don't know Arabic. You're, a, I think you're a Pakistani and you're always driving, right? Beep, beep. You're driving. I hope you're not going to hit anybody when you call Christian Prince or, uh, you know, you can't refute this because you don't know Arabic. You need an Arab to support you, brother. Right? Because I went to the Arabic, right, guys? You, you can't play those games with me. Right? So, Ibn Abbas, the Ibn Abbas explains that it is, is about assisting Muhammad, honoring Muhammad, and you have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Because already the first verb explains it, right? So everything that comes after the last person, go back to the last person. That's the Arabic grammar rules. I didn't invent those rules, guys. That's what they told us when we used to go and learn basic Arabic. And this guy was trying to mock me about my basic Arabic. And he failed miserably, right? Did you see, guys, well, if you are going to claim, as he claimed, that assistance is for Allah, that means you are calling Muhammad Allah, right? You're claiming it's for Allah, but it's not. So you are directly, you are claiming that the Rasul is Allah because you said that assistance is for Allah. No, <laughs> we already explained it from the mouth of Ibn Abbas, from Tafsir al-Qurtubi. You evil liars, you have been spanked and you have been cooked. This spanking is enough spanking for one year and we showed you, in other words, that all the Muslims are forced to do tasbih, glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Guys, if you really love our work, if you want to help the Muslims out so they can be saved, download our videos, cut the parts that you need, upload them on YouTube. Please Christians don't be lazy. I love you, but I'm asking you, help me to help you, download our videos, cut them in parts, and re-upload them so that Muslims can be saved and see that this cult is created by Muhammad for Muhammad, for his penis. You know, remember what Aisha used to say? Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fiha wa'ka ya Muhammad. I see Aisha saying, Aha, Aisha saying, I see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires. Ha, huh, Muhammad. She knew that her husband was a scam. She knew. Aisha knew, guys. Aisha knew. She was not stupid. You, guys, did you see my yesterday's uh, video, guys? Have you seen it? Have you seen my yesterday's video? We made a cartoon. Did you see it, guys? Did you see my video? was smart, short video, right? Short video, and we showed you how Muhammad stole the punishment of the graves, legends, Jewish sto uh, story. He stole it from the Jews. Aisha did not believe the Jews. She knew they were lying to her. And Muhammad stole it, and he made it Islam. And Muslims still today are scared to death of the punishment of, of the grave. Well, it was a Jewish legend, child story that the Jews used to tell to their children if they are disobedient. If you don't go to bed now, for example, when you die, you're going to get punished in your grave. That's what the Jews used to tell their children. It was a Jewish legend story before Muhammad was born. And Aisha knew, Aisha knew they were lying to her. These Jewish ladies were lying to her, right? Uh, and we showed you how, uh, how Farida, how Farida and that Zakir that he was playing the video for, the seven year old video that he was playing, to try to refute our brother David Wood. They are even calling Muhammad the Lord, and they are calling the, co the companions of Muhammad the ten of thousands, you see the as thousands and thousands, ten of thousands, the angels. They are the angels, they are not the Abduls, the companions of Muhammad, you evil liars. Do you see how these people have no shame? Farida, you have no shame, you have no honor. Truly. You have no shame, no honor. Lord have mercy. Any Abdul? I mean, uh, man, I'm already finished, man. I already finished. I'm finished with spanking, uh, guys. We already finished the spanking of today, man. Yeah. Man, the, the hours are flying, bro. How long are we live? One hour and 50 minutes. 
Uh, sweetie, sweetie, do you want to call me sweetie, sweetie? Are you, are you sweet enough to call me? We're alive. Call me on my Skype ID, guys. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Any Muslim? This is my Skype ID. Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to defend his brothers in this deen al-haq, brother. The religion of truth, Islam. I mean, if you claim that you are the followers of deen al-haq, why are you scared like puppies and like kittens to defend this man-made religion of yours? If I would have claimed that I'm a follower of deen al-haq, I would have not be scared to call Rob Christian, right? Refute me, brother. Silence me. It doesn't say that RC. <laughs> Yalla ya khwan. Eh al ummadi ya ammi. Eh al halawa di ya ammi. Where are the Muslims? Wain biddak truh ya 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 Muslim. Wain. La wain biddak truh. La wain. La wain. La wain biddak truh. لا وين بدك تروح انت ونبيك السعلوك ولا وين بدك تروح يا اخي لوين وي ار هير تو جراب يو باي يور بيردز اند دراج يو اوفر ذا فلور اند سبانك يو ويت يور بروفيت لا وين بدك تروح يا اخي لوين لوين يا مسكين يا مسكين ابن مسكين لا وين بدك تروح يو نو مسلمز اولويز كول اس مساكين رايت مسكين انت مسكين يو يو ار You're a poor guy. You're a jahil. Uh, turns out that you are the masakin. At <laughs> Jahannam, yeah, ATM. They are going to Jahannam, yeah, because they are all mushrik. Uh, this, they are here. Their hero became a mushrik man, and they claim he's one of the best. Can you imagine, guys? He's one of the best Muslim apologists on YouTube. And today we spanked him. I, I forgot how many times I spanked him today, man. I challenge him to make a refutation video about me. I challenge you, Farida. You are so proud about him, Muslims. But today your hero became a mushrik again. And I hope for him that he's going to go to Mecca, smooch that black stone, so that that black stone will suck his sins, brother. Because the amount of spanking that we gave him is enough for one year, man. If I was him, I would have cut off my this beard of his, cut off the beard, Repent, make a public video and say, yes, I became a mushrik. I repent and I come back to Islam. And sorry for lying about the Quran and the Bible, by the way. <laughs> you evil rat, you rat. And I'm not trying to uh, insult any real rat, guys. You're a rat, you're a snake, and you have no guts to call me. Right, uh, Farida? Because you know what will happen to you, right? Life on air. You know what will happen to you, right? But the amount of spanking that it gave you is enough for you. Right? Any Muslim? Uh, if you have Christians, guys, if there are Christians who wants to call, the line is open for the Christians now. The line is open for the Christians. If there are Christian brothers or sisters who wants to call and comment on today's topic, go ahead, you can call us. Christians. Oh, we have brother Alexander. Okay. Let me pick this call. <coughs> Hello, brother. How are you? God bless you. Hi, brother. Hi. 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 What do you, you think about today, man? Uh, did we did we give him give them enough spanking? What do you think? Oh brother, these these guys are jokes. I I don't take this for serious. This yeah. this is only a thing about money. I think they have nothing to do with Islam. <laughs> I I really I really think I, this this guys nothing have to do with faith or believing in God or something. They just want the money from the oil and that's it. Bro, to be honest with you, right, Alexander? Let let us be honest, right? Imagine. Imagine if I, Rob Christian, or Christian Prince, or David Wood, would have done the same lies, the same blasphemy that these Muslim wannabe Muslim apologists do. How many subscribers would have would I have now? How many subscribers would Christian Prince have if we would have lied on daily basis like these evil son of Satan's are doing? How many Christians would be still here watching? 
Brother, I think nobody. I think nobody. nobody right? and, on, and on the top of that, I think Al Jazeera yeah. will, will bring these lies. Yeah. I think Al Jazeera will say uh, Rob Christian, CP, or David Wood lie to yeah. the follow of Christian faith. Yeah. And you see how, how they but are brother, cowards? They are, can only make response videos. They are too coward to even use their own voice. They are using robotic voice. They only use text to refute us, man. And we had an Indonesian idiot that I started with. Uh, he even he, he didn't go to the Arabic. He used false translation to try to refute me, right? Do you remember? Yes, brother. Yeah. They they have they have no knowledge. They they can't debate because they have no knowledge. They need time to take books and even even the books they can't read. I don't know. It's it's, it's madness. Yeah. Brother, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I have a fatwa uh, here. And I read, uh, the question is, what is meant by the Holy Spirit in the Quran? We know the Muslims uh, say this is Jibril. Yeah. So, in uh, two verses, maybe more, in Al-Baqarah 253, we gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear just, signs. Just, just a second, chapter 2, because I want chap to put it on the, on the chapter, screen. Chapter 2, 253. Yeah. 253. Just a second, brother, because, you know, we want to help our audience out. So that they can follow what you say. It talks easier for you too and for me too. Yes, two, of course. 253, right? 253, yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there is, uh, I just, just need the part. We gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit. Yeah. This uh, fatwa from this sheikh, uh, this sheikh claims this is Jibril. Yeah. So, and there is another uh, verse, Al-Maida 110, uh, then Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor upon you mm -hmm. and upon your mother, how I strengthened you with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. This is also Jibril. So, uh, That's Jibril what they claim, is, right? That's what yes, they claim. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now my question, the Holy Spirit is, is a person that's a living being in Islam. Yeah. Uh, I can't find any verse in the Quran where is Jibril beside Jesus uh, by the miracles. Yeah. There well, is nothing there is nothing like this. I can't find any verse where is Jibril in contact with Jesus. No talk between these two two persons uh, no work together nothing nothing nothing. Yeah, I, I want to know, can we see one ayah where it says, I, I challenge any Muslim, show me one ayah in the Quran where it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. I, I want to I see a crystal clear ayah where it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Is that a good, is that a good uh, challenge? Yeah, I think, I think it is because when you, yeah. when we talk about the Holy Spirit in Christianity, that's not a person. Let me prove to you, my friend, since, since we are talking live on air, since we are already started today spanking anyway let me spank the muslims guys i'm here to spank all the muslims not only farida watch let me prove to you that jibril cannot be this holy spirit in in islam right guys in islam chapter 78 ayah 38 can you see the screen bro yes okay what does it say can you read chapter 78 ayah 38 for me please up in the day when the spirit and the wait. angels okay wait Upon the day when the spirit and what? And the angels stand Stop. in ranks. Yes, it's clear. Wait. It's the spirit and so the if, angels. If, 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 if Jibril, <laughs> did you catch it, guys? If Jibril is an angel, why is the spirit alone? And what does it say? And the angels. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Busted. Do you see how the Holy Spirit is not in, an angel? The Holy Spirit is not an angel. Uh-oh. No. Do you, do you see how easy it is, bro? Do you see how easy it is? Can't be. No, it's, it's very easy and it's, 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 it's logical because in Christianity, when you say I have the Holy Spirit, that is not a person beside me. Yeah. But in the Quran, uh, is written, he strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. So that means a person is beside Jesus and helps him. Yeah. And not only that, you know, when Muslims always say, let me give, let me give the audience first this uh, link, you know, because guys, please, when you ever debate a Muslim 
and they are they love to tell you that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit spank them with chapter 78 I 38 help me to help you save those links guys come on let me make it even more worse my friend it, this is not enough this is not enough spanking if we go to chapter 66 verse 12 the last ayah the last verse we can read the following that you know first they have to lie about the virginity right last time i think you missed my live show last time right uh, brother you were not here uh, the last the yeah. last show was uh, you take you take any uh, i don't you don't take any calls from christians that was mm. this Bob, Bob, this silent Bob. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We yes, spanked him. Yeah. Bob. Yeah, yeah, silent <laughs> yes. Bob. Yeah, so they are lying. We showed everybody any translation. that We went through all the translation. We went to yes, Portuguese. Yes, yes. We went to Indonesian. We went I to Spanish. It, yeah, guys, if you missed that, you need to watch it. Our last live show, it was, you know, thank you, God, but it was one of my best live shows ever. We spanked the Quran left and right. There uh, was no vagina in any translation. Yeah. This word, the vagina, in no translation is cor translated correct. So they, they translate like virginity. They translate it like uh, chastity. Let me see what this one says. Chastity, do you see it? But it's talking about vagina. And it's talking about that uh, the spirit is going to do the blowing. Fanafachna fihi in the what? In the vagina. So we blew, right? Fihi, in the farjaha. In farjaha, fihi, in the farjaha, min ruhina, from our spirit. Right? It doesn't say, uh, you know, uh, that uh, that is the angel is coming and he's doing, no, it says from our spirit. And we showed you from the last ayah, right? Uh, let me go there, back, yeah? You see that the spirit is separated from the angels. So you see, Allah, it seems that Allah is the one who is doing the blowing. Allah, in other words, let me type it in the live chat. Allah is the one blowing in the fijay, right, of Maryam. And you see how they are insulting our our mother, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you see how how Islam insults Mary? What an evil cult, man! Yes, I know also also the insult one uh, in the hadith. Uh, anything I read with uh, Muhammad will have sex with Mary in Jannah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. that's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, brother, uh, you know this hadith uh, with the moon splitting in the end is near. But uh, uh, in Arabic is is a word uh, which means not is near; it's almost there. This Arabic word I I, I can't remember. Mm. You, you but, see, even even on the screen, bro, I put it on the screen. Look what it says: Farja, Farja. Do you see it, guys? Yes, Farja, yes. It says the private part. You show us this in the last show, yes. Yeah, you see it, guys? How, how they are too ashamed to translate it to con correctly. They are too ashamed. Muslims are too ashamed to translate the Quran the correct way by, by showing and translating the word vagina. Here, even here in the, in the, in the Al Ma'ani website, this is Al Ma'ani, right? The meanings, her private mm -hmm. part. Her private part. It's speaking even about the women. It says her. Do you see it? Whose private part? Mary. What a disgusting evil cult. Allah is blowing inside. <laughs> blowing inside the vagina of Mary. You son of Satan. You Allah, you are Satan. You Muhammad are nothing but the son of Satan. You created Islam to insult Jesus Christ and his mother. Evil religion, man. Evil religion. Bro Man, try not to get uh, disgusted or get angry, guys. Try not to get disgusted and get angry. Try. Try. Yeah. Sorry, my friend. Continue. No problem. Brother, did you know this Abbas Aga in the chat? Is this Abbas from Speaker's Corner? Yeah, this, this is the donkey right there, yeah. Yes, can I yeah. just a few words for this, for this donkey? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Abbas, you discuss with Christian Prince about the heaven and the paradise. And did not uh, in Quran is there uh, Allah will take uh, oh moment uh, here uh, Surah three verse fifty five <laughs> when God when God <laughs> said Jesus I will take thee to me yeah let me I, just a second bro let me put it on the 
On the screen. Three, 355. Yeah, I know, I know. I know the my yeah. Abbas, my question, is Allah in heaven or in paradise? Yeah, not only that. Look what it says. <laughs> Recall, guys, look how Jesus is actually, his death is confirmed in the Quran. Watch, guys. The death of Jesus, we know Muslims always say Jesus did not die, right? Yes. Look, <laughs> chapter 3, ayah 55. Recall what time Allah said. So Allah is saying, guys, watch. O Isa, who they claim it's Jesus, by the way, it's not Jesus, but anyway, let it go, guys. O Isa, verily, Allah is saying, verily, I shall make thee die and I'm lifting thee to myself. So Allah is the one who made Jesus die and he's the one who is resurrecting him. So here the, the death is confirmed of Jesus and his resurrection is confirmed. Yes, uh -oh. but uh, but and he's uh, with Abbas, Allah, right? He's with Allah, right? Yes, Abbas yeah. makes the claim uh, Jesus is only in heaven, but not in paradise. <laughs> so my question is, Abbas, is Allah <laughs> in heaven or in paradise? Because he lifted he uh, up to myself. Myself? What does that mean? To myself? Exactly. Yes. Allah is clearly yes. saying to myself. So Allah is in the same area with Isa. Oh, uh oh. So it seems, yes. guys, guys. Notice, notice, take notes. It seems that Allah, when Muslims say Allah is outside his creation, Allah is nothing like his creation. He is not here in this creation. He is not on earth. But Isa is with him. That means Isa is equal with Allah. He is equal with Allah outside of the, of the creation. That means Allah and Isa are equal. They are on the same level. Again, yes. like chapter 9, ayah 31. When we see that the lords are Isa, Al Masih, and Allah. Bam! Yes. But Abbas, Abbas claims uh, Jesus is only in heaven, not in paradise. No, not in Jannah. But uh, Allah, is, <laughs> Allah is crystal clear. He says, I am lifting thee to myself. To who? To myself. Yes. So Isa is now in the same place with Allah. Did you see it? Brother, and not only the that, his death is confirmed. Comment. <laughs> Read please the comment of Abbas. Yeah. That means he is not next to Allah. <laughs> I challenge yeah, anyone I, to yeah, show I me that Jesus. <laughs> yeah, bro, I challenge Abbas to say that Allah is lying. I challenge. <laughs> I hope that one day uh, there are going to be a Muslim apologist who is going to say Allah is lying. I really hope. At least you're you become an apostate. <laughs> oh, brother, brother, that's nothing. You, Allah is lying, uh, brother. Allah is lying. Isa is the Aif, brother. The Aif, I, uh, a few days ago, I, I discussed, I have a small debate with a Muslim from Albania mm -hmm. and I show him hadith approved by Al-Albani. Mm -hmm. And then this guy said to me, oh, brother, you, you need to understand uh, Al-Albani uh, took revenge on Islam for the invasion of Albania and he make all Daif hadith as sahih. <laughs> Brother, that's mad. <laughs> brother, that's madness. Oh, yeah, my, yeah. He you, was, you, made, he, you made my day, bro. You made my Brother, I, I start laughing and I say, uh, uh, come on, go. Just go, go, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You see how no, bankrupt these people are, man? Brother, I, I, I can, I don't know, in, in 10 years they will throw every hadith. Every Quranic ayah every, under the bus. Every yeah. Quranic ayah, they, they, they will wrote anything again. You... Mm. And there will be no uh, Abbas, Ibn Abbas, there will be no Jalalain, no yeah. Ibn Kathir, nothing like this. All exactly. new scholars from the 21st century. Exactly, exactly. Scholars like Farida and Mimi Hijab and... Uh, Farida is done, man. You, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> That's what it's, I'm done. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, brother, thanks for the, thanks for pick up the call and... Uh, yeah. God bless you and the my audience. My friend, it's always amazing to talk to you. Keep calling me, my friend. You're a dear brother. <laughs> oh, brother, I forgot yeah. to say, uh, last oh. time you talked with the Shia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Shia boy with the and, yellow shoes. Uh, yes, and he, <laughs> talks, and he talks badly about uh, Aisha. Yeah. But isn't uh, in you, you Shia... You saw, you saw how I actually tried. You know, he didn't pay attention, but I was, I was hoping that he was going to try to, uh, you know, insult Aisha. And he did. Yes, he did. He did. But uh, is not the, in Shia belief, uh, yeah. I don't know the exact uh, phrase, but uh, a good man will become a good woman and a bad woman will become a bad man. 
<laughs> yeah. So when the Shia say Aisha is a bad woman, that means Muhammad is a bad man. Yeah, you know, Muhammad, uh, and I, I asked him uh, when he called me, the, the Sunni Muslims, right, they have in their books the word Humaira. Aisha is called by Muhammad Humaira. Now Sunnis claim that it means the red one, right? She's a, she has a red skin, red one. So basically, you know, like a flower. But the... Guys, I'm in middle in the call. What's the point to call me? So, and, and the Shia in their books, right? They, they went to, even to Sunni books. And I can even play a, a video by a Shia Muslim who is going to the Sunni Muslim books. And it, show, it shows that Humaira means donkey. So Muhammad called Aisha donkey. Muhammad <laughs> called Aisha donkey. I kid you not. He perfectly explained it. Right? The, the red hair, red skin, whatever. Humaira. But he actually called her the donkey. Can you imagine? So he's married with, a, with the daughter of the donkey. Remember, Zainab bint Jash, the, uh, the wife that he stole from his adopted son. She was mm -hmm. the daughter of the donkey. And Aisha is the donkey. How many donkeys is this guy married to, man? He's the, he's the uh, son of Kilab, right? Muhammad is the son of Kilab. He's the son of dogs. He's married with the daughter of the donkey and Aisha is the donkey. I mean, this is, this religion is the religion of dogs and donkeys, man. Anyway. And Please we, don't, 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 we don't try, insult don't, we don't don't try, insult right? dogs and donkeys. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we are not trying to insult any real donkey or dog, guys. Come on. I mean, <laughs> we're not trying to insult. Them. God forbid. Yeah. Okay, brother. No, thank Maybe you, calling, you can bro. take another yeah. call. Thank, thank you, you very amazing, much. God bless amazing you, call. your family. God bless you too, my friend. Thank and you. And God bless the audience. Thank bye you. bye, brother. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Dear sister Vanessa. Wow. Hello, sister. How are you? Your life on air. Hello, brother. Hi, I missed I you, sister. You. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, brother. I just wanted to contribute uh, quickly to the Islamic jinns. Mm -hmm. I look and on their website, one of the Islamic websites, yeah. Quora.com, yeah. they wrote there that uh, I guess somebody asked that question: jinn yeah. in the Bible, and they wrote <laughs> yeah. there that no jinns are not in the Bible. Wait, sister, jinns. are you sure jinns are not in the Bible? No. I can forward it to your account. They said, no, jeans are not in the Bible. But there are different opinions, though. One of them says, so that means that shows how confused they are. What a, what a comedy, right? What a comedy, man. Yes, it says, no, jeans, jeans are not in the Bible. Jeans are part of Islamic and Arabian mythology and theology. Yeah, it's, it's, it's from, uh, it's, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's from the Persian. Muhammad took it from the Persians. He implemented, you know, the jinns, the Arabs and the Persians, they, they used to think that, you know, the demons are jinns and they believe in jinns, right? Like from the genie uh, in the bottle, right? From the Disney movie. So yes. they, you know, you have good jinns, you have bad you have bad jinns who sleep with women. I kid you not. There was a uh, Arabic uh, live show on TV yeah. and, a, and a man called, called in, right? And there was a sheikh sitting and he was explaining yeah. Islam. And this guy calls and he says, uh, to the women, guys, I'm not trying to insult any women, okay? But this is what happened, right? I was watching the show, and this guy, he yeah. uh, he says, you know, at night when I'm asleep, I hear my wife, she making weird noises, and I think she is, uh, you know, she's playing with herself. Guys, I don't want to go, you know, but she said, and you know what the sheikh said to him? Yeah, I think uh, a jinn is uh, <clears throat> with her, and this guy, you know. I, 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 kid, I yeah. kid you not, I kid you not. That's what they believe, that jinns are sleeping with the wives of Muslim men. And also the other way around. You have also female jinns, by the way. Mm. Mm. Rape is jinn, yeah. They rape Muslim uh, women, yeah, in their sleep. Mm. Can you imagine this, this evil satanic religion, man? Really, yeah. man? Really? Brother, it's even written here that uh, it is in early pre-islamic arabian and later yeah. islamic mythology it's and mythology. theology and they made pre -Islamic. it islam yeah, yeah. pre-islamic so yeah. it's uh when they say pre-islamic before they uh, brought up the forgery of islam yeah so it's a pagan thing yeah it's not only that sister according to islam 
I kid you not, go to the Islamic books. Maybe the admins can provide it. Maybe for Herrera or others. According to Islam, Satan, I kid you not. Listen carefully, guys. Satan has a P and he has a V. So when he starts to F himself, you know, his P goes inside his own V and he will lay eggs. So Satan can do F himself because he has a female part and a male part and he can F himself and he will lay eggs and those eggs become shayateen right his oh. children can you imagine guys this 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 Islam man try not to get crazy so they, they take everything they take as many things as they can from the Bible and mm -hmm. distort and twist it around to fit their pagan ideology and mm -hmm. they present it to the world that it's uh, it's the same God yeah. Satan is very deceptive, mm -hmm. very deceptive. Mm -hmm. Well, like I told you, brother, they, mm -hmm. they, they have different opinions because the kingdom of darkness is always confused. Yeah. I really you know? hope, sister, I really hope that Farida, right, that he's going to make mm -hmm. a response video about this and he will try to refute me about Shaitan that he can F himself. I, uh, Farida, please do, man. You always try to refute CP. I really hope that one day you're going to start refute me too, right? Mm. <laughs> I really Farida, so we can spank him. Farid, yeah. Farida put himself in that hole where he yeah. is, for real. Do you see how how he he, he called Muhammad? How he called Muhammad? Disgusting man, evil son of Satan. You're yes. calling your your prophet the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you play that video for Tuchrami thirty three two, how dare you, man? How dare you to insult our God, man? How dare you? How dare you, my, my brother? Yeah. You know, you know, Satan is very deceptive. You yeah. know, the uh, Islamists, they will come and say, your Bible is corrupt. Your Bible is corrupt, right? Mm. And while going through a couple of stuff, I'm seeing that mm. the Islamists are doing everything to want to corrupt our Bible. Yeah. They call up uh, so-called uh, Christian pastors like James White. Mm. And you know that James White tried to, he was in the committee of those that uh, translated a Bible, the NASB version, mm -hmm. NASB version. Mm -hmm. And people like Kent Ovine and, and uh, what was the woman's name? They went against it and they brought out the fraud that he was uh, trying to do with our Bible. Mm -hmm. And that Bible... Um, lost uh, buyers, a yes. lot of buyers. You can only find uh, used copies yeah. on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So the same, uh, this is many years ago, you know, the same mm -hmm. James White that was used mm -hmm. for the fraud at the time yeah. is the same James White that is ushering, it, uh, ushering in Islam into yeah. the church. Yeah. You understand? I know. I know. I know. So let's, let's not go there, right? Copies. Just, you know. Yes. Yeah, they have no yeah. peace, and they will have no yeah. peace until Jesus comes, yeah. because yeah. they are moving against a fast train. Yeah. It will crush them. Yeah, you know, you heard you heard Bil Bilal Phillips, right? That imam from Canada. Yes. He says it's yes. going to, you know, it's going to hit them like a tsunami. It's coming. It's going to become yes. an avalanche, and it will knock us over. That's what the imam said. He know, yes. he know that it's coming. He, they know that Islam is dying. They know it. They know it. They are trying yes, to know, save a sunken, right? A sunken ship. The, the ship is already sunk, but they try, right? They try. Yes. Before I let you go, I'm going to say something, a proverb similar mm -hmm. to what I we say in my mother language. Yeah. A lie might be traveling for 1,400 years like Islam. Yeah. It will only take one day for the truth to catch up with it. Yeah. And that is what we are experiencing. Exactly. Glory to God. Amen, thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for calling, sister. I love you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, Capello Adriel. Capello. Are you here, Capello? Capello Adriel is asking, and Rob Christian, brother in Christ, please answer me. Could you do short animes for every hadith, mini videos, easy to share among friends? I would love to, right? I would love to, but I need people who can draw. Who can make uh, beautiful pictures you know you can make for every scene you can draw beautiful pictures that we used last time guys we used the pictures last time in our comic uh, let, let us play it well, I guess we have you know we are here anyway let us 
played uh, for the people who did not see it. I really want to share it with you guys. So if you can make something like this and send it to me, why not? Right? We can we can make that. So let me play the video, guys, for you, for the people who did not see it. Just a second. Bear with me, guys, and hopefully we can take more calls. Just a second, guys. All right. Enjoy. Now we know that Muhammad was being accused over and over by the Meccans and the Jews of Medina of stealing stories, legend stories and fairy tales that were already known, well documented before Muhammad. And if we go to chapter 25, ayah 5 for example, we can read, and they say, tales of the ancients which he has caused to be written and they are dictated before him morning and evening. So here Muhammad in, his, in the Quran was being accused of stealing well-known stories, legend stories, fairy tales, fables that he implemented in the Quran and Islam. According to the Prophet of Islam Muhammad, the dead are being punished in their graves. And we know that Muhammad was always seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave in his prayers. Now, for example, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6366, we can read that two Jewish ladies came to see Aisha and they told her about the punishment of the grave. As we mentioned earlier, both the Jews of Medina and the pagan Meccans rejected Muhammad and they used to accuse him of stealing legend stories and fables and implement them in his new made religion and Quran. The Jews knew that Muhammad was always plagiarizing their legends and fairy tales and called it divine revelation from Allah. For example, the flying carpet of Solomon. The Jewish women who went to see Aisha told her about this well-known Jewish legend story the punishment of the grave. An old Jewish fable which Jewish parents used to recite to their disobedient children. For example, if you don't go to bed now, you will be punished in your grave. A bald snake will enter your grave and will start to eat your flesh from head to toe. But Aisha was smart and she immediately understood that these Jewish ladies were telling her a lie. A legend, a fable. So Aisha did not believe the story of the Jewish ladies and she thought that they were telling her a lie. So she did not believe them. When they went away, the Prophet of Islam entered upon Aisha and she told him the whole story. And Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, replied and said, They told the truth. The dead are really punished to the extent that all the animals hear their punishment. Since then, Aisha said, I always saw Muhammad seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave in his prayers. Now I found an Indonesian Ustaz, an Imam who is going to explain to us the punishment of the grave. He will tell us all the fine details of this story, which every Muslim on this planet have to believe in. Muslims are terrified and they all seek refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave. And when the soul leaves the deceased body and is carried to his grave, the righteous soul will say, bring me closer, bring me closer. And the wicked one will say, oh my Allah, why are they taking me? After the funeral prayer on the deceased is over, the grave will say, I am the house of exile, I am the house of loneliness, I am the house of dust, I am the house of worms. And as the hadith says, if the human is placed inside his grave and his friends start to leave, his soul returns back to him until he hears their footsteps fade away.
and then suddenly two angels appeared to him their names are Munkar wa Manakir and they helped the deceit to sit straight and start testing him so if the deceit was a true Muslim believer they will ask him who is your Lord my Lord is Allah what is your religion my religion is Islam who is the man who sent to you he is Rasulullah and how do you know I read the book of Allah and I believe in him and accepted him so he finally passed the exam and he will be rewarded with the gift of Jannah and an overwhelming voice from above will say oh my righteous Abdul quickly open for him the doors of Jannah then a man with beautiful appearance come by and says I am your righteous deeds but for the kafir the angels come and ask him who is your lord oh, uh, uh, I don't know Madri what is your religion uh, uh, I don't know who is the man who lived among you? <laughs> I don't know, Madri. And the angels tell him, you don't know and you failed your test. And the poor man failed his exam and test and the punishment of the grave starts and a voice from heaven says, he lied, bring down fire upon him. And the angel starts to hammer him down with a big sledgehammer. Such amazing big hammer that if you throw it down, it can break a mountain into small pieces of rocks and dust. And the kafir screams and crimes from the pain and suffering so loud that all creation can hear him except mankind and jinn. And he is struck down until he turns to dust. And Allah turns him back to normal and the angels strike him down with a final blow. And his grave starts to close around him until he limbs crushed. And earth is commanded to swallow him and it swallows him completely. And a snake crawls in his grave and a bold snake called Thorban al-Aqra. And the snake starts to eat his flesh from head to toe and a man appears from out of nowhere with an ugly face filthy clothes and a bad smell and he says I'm your wicked deeds and then his place in fire is shown to him <laughs>
absolutely trashed. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, maybe we should make this a meme, guys. Absolutely trashed, brother. <clears throat> Come on, guys, don't waste my time. Muslims? Any Muslim? Uh, yeah, um, uh, brother Jacob, if there won't be any Muslim, then uh, we'll take your call instead. They are, they are, if they are playing, if they only came to play, we'll take a call from uh, a Christian. The last call, guys. Okay, no Muslim. Okay, don't, you know, they don't dare. Yeah, they, they came to play, guys. Let me take the call of uh, our brother here. Cowards. Hey, dear brother, how are you? Hey, brother Rob, I appreciate you taking my phone call. And yeah, my friend, I, I really didn't want to take the call because I wished that today we we're going to be a Muslim who, who might call us and defend Farida and the other mushrikeen, but uh, it seems that the Muslims are too cowards. You know, and that's the title of the video, right? Refuting cowardice, Muslim apologies. And they did not step up. So, you know, what, what else is new? Go, go ahead, my friend. God bless you. Thank you for calling. Okay. Um, uh, the other brother who called, then he mentioned something. And when I heard him said, I was yeah, like, brother wow. Alexander, yeah, bro, bro, uh, brother yeah, Alexander. Yeah. Brother Alexander. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I'm happy he asked that question because it was right in a line with a question that I have for you yeah. and something that I wanted to reveal so everybody could see. So if you could, could you pull up Surah chapter 5, verse 110? 110. Just a second, brother. <clears throat> the, the, the famous chapter that is uh, uh, lying about the Christians, right? Chapter 116, 117, yeah. 110. So, yeah, yeah five, Surah 5, 1 mm. and 10. Yeah, 510. Go ahead. Can you read it? Um, I can't see the screen right now. But okay, let me read it. it. Yeah, let me let me read it else. Chapter 510, 110, I 110. And call to mind what time Allah will say, Isa, son of Maryam, remember my, my favor unto thee and unto thine mother when I aided thee with the Holy Spirit so that thou speakest unto mankind in the cradle and in maturity. And when taught thee the book and wisdom and the Torah and the Injil, and when thou formedest out of clay, yeah, so here Isa became a creator like Allah, uh, Allah sharing his uh, divine attribute with, uh, with Isa, as though the likeness of a bird, right? My command, and, uh, and do you want me to continue to read all the... Uh, I, I wanted you. Um, yeah. I wanted you specifically to read a part about uh, when when Jesus created the clay birds. Yeah. So though the likeness of a bird. Yeah. So he oh. he takes clay and he makes a bird and he breathes into it. So here Isa became a creator like Allah when Allah said Tabarak ahsan al khaliqin. Right. So uh, <laughs> it wasn't Allah, Allah by the way. It was Abdullah bin Abi Sarh. Remember the guy who became an apostate after finding out that Muhammad was a scam. Yeah, so uh, Isa start to breathe and, and then the bird became to life, right? Right. Now, this is the problem, um, Brother Rob Christian. Now, <clears throat> there is a hadith, and I want everybody to hear this, because this is going to prove without a doubt that Muhammad is a false prophet. There is a hadith, and I want to read it, and I, don't, and I don't know if you can pull it up or not, but I'll just yeah. read it. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the ink of the Ummah, so the Muslims cannot deny this. Yeah. The Messenger of Allah said, whoever makes an image will be punished until he is commanded yeah. to bring a soul into it, and he will not be able to do so. Yeah, I have the hadith, uh, just a second, let me put it on the screen so it will talk easier with our audience. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Okay, I'll read it again. I'm not yeah. looking at the screen. Okay. Yeah. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the messenger of Allah said, whoever makes an image will be punished until he is commanded to breathe a soul into it and he will not be able to do so. Yeah. So as Brother Rob Christian just read in Surah 5, 1 and 10, Jesus created an image 
He created a clay bird. So according to this hadith, Jesus supposed to be in hell and punished because the hadith says that whoever makes a image of a creation of Allah will be punished and sent to hell. And not only that, and this is how we can prove that Jesus is God, yeah. even by the Quran. Not only that, in the hadith it says that the image makers will be sent to hell and Allah will mock them. He will say, breathe a soul into it and they will not be able to do so. Because but that's it, like but Isa, but Isa could Jesus. Yeah, they, they, they could, he yeah. could, and he's not. He he's not punished, right? He's not punished. He's not so it punished. seems that again, we re already read that Isa is already uh, with Allah in the same place, right. right? Right. And on top of that, he became a creator like Allah, because we're talking about creating life. We're not creating, right. talking about creating a computer. We're not talking about creating a car. We are talking about a religion, and the religion. It's talking about creation of life. So Isa shares the same attribute with Allah. And only, not only that, it shows that Isa can do and he's not punished, according to right. this hadith. So, right. that, so, that, so that hadith proves that, that yeah. Jesus is God, okay? Because exactly. only a God can give a soul. Yeah. Like, and Muslims will try to say that, oh, it says, by my permission. But just because it says by my permission, that means nothing. Because, exactly. for instance, let me give you an example. In order to operate a motor vehicle on public streets, mm -hmm. you have to have a driver's license, which is the legal permission yes. to drive. Yes. But just because you have, but just because you don't have a driver's license, that don't mean you you can't still drive down the streets. You're just mm -hmm. driving illegally. Mm -hmm. So, because I have said this to a Muslim before, and they were busted. They didn't know where to go and what to do. And they was mm -hmm. trying to say, oh, well, this, this was a miracle by Allah. But no, it's not a miracle. A miracle mm -hmm. is something like you, you lay hands on somebody. They are healed by the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This right here, when Jesus is blowing breath, a spirit into a clay bird, that's not, once you start doing stuff like that, that's not a miracle. Yeah. That's an of God. Yeah, and why and, is it why is it haram to create cartoons or pictures? But Isa in the Quran is creating an image, is creating uh, uh, something out of clay. Isn't that haram according to the Prophet? So not only that, here we have a crystal clear contradiction, right? Muhammad contradicting himself in the Hadith, and he's contradicting the Quran of Allah, right? Clear as day, and yeah. and this is the and this is a. This is a good example why people should not plagiarize because exactly. this story came from the book of Thomas, the Aquarian Gospel of Thomas. Exactly. That came, came out hundreds of years before. The infancy the gospel, right? To be specific, the infancy gospel. Yeah, the, yes, the infancy. So, so this, yeah. this should, this should warn people not to plagiarize because what Muhammad did, he went into Christian texts and brought out a story that was proving that Jesus is God. So he, when he tried to mix that within, his Quranic text, it gets him busted because Jesus blew into the clay bird is synonymous with the fact that Jesus is God. Because when you read in the book of Genesis, exactly. God did the same thing when he breathed into the clay of Adam, when he um, breathed into the nostrils of Adam. Yes. So when so, so when Muhammad tried to plagiarize like that, he didn't know the big mistake that he was making yeah. because he went into another book. And that story is around the context that Jesus is God. So when he mixed it in the Quran, he messed himself up. And then you have this hadith on top of that. And then, Mr. Rob Christian, the Muslims have to explain yeah, just, this. My friend, just a second, since we're talking about the images, you know, that they are forbidden. Pictures are forbidden. Uh, well, angels will uh, not come to your house, right? You know, you're the whole thing, right? But wait, right. Allah is saying, through Muhammad, right? Because everything Muhammad say is nothing but divine revelation, as we mentioned in the beginning of the live show. Doesn't Muhammad say in a Sahih Bukhari hadith that Adam is created from the image, uh, you know, uh, created in the image of Allah? Doesn't Muhammad, again guys, doesn't Muhammad in Sahih Bukhari say that Adam is created in the image of Allah? I thought that images are forbidden, they are haram, brother. Uh-oh. Right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I didn't even know that one. Yeah. But yeah. So Muhammad stole that directly from the book of Genesis, brother. Wow. Allah again, according to Muhammad, Allah created Adam in his image. 
plagiarizing from the book of Genesis. Did Muhammad bring anything new, guys? Honest to God. Did Muhammad bring anything new? No. Even, even, uh, you know, they always uh, are bragging about uh, Tawheed, right? Last time we showed everybody, I can put it on the screen just a second. They said, you know, uh, I went to the Islamic books and we can find that even the pre-Islamic Quraysh, the, the, the tribe of Muhammad, they practice Tawheed. Tawheed is not nothing new. It's nothing new. Muhammad stole it and uh, he implemented it into Islam again. Right? Again. So what what do you what do you expect, right? Right. Go ahead, and, go, go ahead my friend. Yeah. And, and and to go along with those verses, if 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 the Muslims would read Surah sixteen seventeen, it says that mm -hmm. the one who doesn't create is not equal to the one who does create. So Jesus created, as you see, he created life because he he blew a soul from nothing yeah. and into something. So according to Surah sixteen seventeen. The one who doesn't create is not equal to the one who creates. That means that Muhammad is not equal to Jesus. So when Muslims be like, oh, Muhammad is the greatest prophet and the, the last and the best. No, he is not. Because according mm -hmm. to 1617, Surah 1617, Jesus created and Muhammad did not create anything. So it gets and then they got to ask this question, Mr. Rob Christian. I'll ask you yeah. if Jesus blew the soul into the clay bird. How did he obtain that soul? You see what I'm saying? Like, and they'll they'll exactly, try to yeah. yeah, they'll try to come up with all these different ways. But my example to them is if I blew air into a balloon, mm -hmm. where did the air come from that blew the balloon up? Did the balloon blow itself up? If you were asked the Muslim that question, <laughs> they would say oh, that, that they would yeah. say the air came from you, the one who blew um the air into the balloon. So likewise, when Jesus blew the clay bird blew life into the clay bird. They got to say the same thing because if Allah is the soul giver, but you have Jesus breathing souls into inanimate objects, yeah, you're saying that He is God. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's no, it's no way they can get out out of that. Yeah. I just wanted to share that. Yeah, and I put uh, the hadith on the screen. Uh, I found the, what, this one from Sahih Muslim, where it says, "When any one of you fights with his brother, he should avoid." The face, brother, avoid the face. Don't punch anyone in the face. For Allah, for Allah created Adam in his own image. Do you see it, guys? If I'm not mistaken, it's also in Sahih al-Bukhari too. Yeah, I, I think I found it. I, th I think this is, is this Sahih al-Bukhari. Just a second. Oh, this is also Sahih Muslim. Yeah, I, th I believe it's also in Sahih al-Bukhari. But anyway, this is Sahih, right? Yeah. And, and can I can I tell the audience <clears throat> one last thing? Because if they present this argument, which is not even an argument, it's just a fact. If you say this to the Muslims, yeah. They by the way, my friend, uh, there's a uh, Christian brother in the chat. He says, "Rob, tell him thank you so much." So they are thanking you for your input, brother. Oh yeah, and if they want yeah. to, they can subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Uh, the, the false can you, prophet. Can you, yeah, the false prophet. That's his YouTube channel. Maybe full Herrera. You can post his YouTube channel and help this brother out. Maybe you can subscribe too. He has amazing contact, uh, guys. Uh, content. So help this brother out who's just called a brother Jacob. Go ahead, bro. Final final point, and we can wrap this up. Uh, okay. Bro. All right. This is my final point. Um, yeah. I have this same uh viewpoint. Uploaded on my channel. I uploaded it last night and I just want to tell the audience this when you when you present this to the Muslims This is what they'll say to you and they'll get themselves in a in a in a trap of circular reasoning they'll say that Muhammad that they'll say that Allah is the one who allowed Jesus to do it. It was a miracle yeah. Okay, but they can't explain how it happened and they can't explain How did Jesus obtain a soul? So if they say that Jesus did it by a miracle and they can't explain how he did it, then you can say to them the same thing. You can say, well, if you can't tell me how Jesus did it, how did mm -hmm. Allah, how did how Allah do it when he blew air into um, the nostrils of Adam? They'll mm -hmm. say, oh, I don't know. It was a miracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if Jesus did it and, it and it was a miracle and Allah did it and it was a miracle, then they'll say, well, Allah could do it because he is God. And then they'll mm -hmm. say the evidence that he is God because only Allah 
can breathe a soul into a creation and make it come yeah. alive. Yeah. You can say to them, well, Jesus did the same thing. He <laughs> put a soul into a creature and made it come alive. So you'll get them trapped into a um what is called circular reasoning. And they'll yeah. be in the syndrome and they'll be stuck. Exactly. Like, yeah. 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 All that. And if you need some further expounding on it, I have this video uploaded on my channel and I like to sure. think um Yeah, they already I shared your 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 YouTube channel in the live chat. So people please again uh help this brother out, subscribe, help all the warriors out and uh, support their work guys thank you uh, for calling uh, brother jacob always a blessing to hear you live on air uh, keep calling us god bless your loved ones and uh, thank you for calling in bro god bless uh, god bless you my friend see you Bye -bye. Right. so you see guys today we cooked all these uh muslim heroes we went through many of them i lost count how many times uh, we spanked these people already but you know, these these cowards will never call us uh, where are you where are you Lying about your prophet, using false translation, right? We cooked this guy from Indonesia, right? Using English false translation. And uh, we cooked him, right? By going through the right translation. I think this is a Muslim. Yeah, hello? Hello, dear optician. My name is Adrian. Hello, everybody. Yeah, hello. Are uh, you a Christian or a Muslim, my friend? Uh, Christian, Christian. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, it will be quick. Yeah. Uh, I want you and all the brothers in Christ here to help me with um, um, with a little problem. I ask all the Muslims yeah. in messages uh, where in the Quran, where in the Quran we can find the uh, feedings, healing, yeah. and the resurrection. Yeah. Uh, so far, no one told me one. One of them said that in some Indian books and so on and so on, but... Uh, uh, just, to... just, uh, can you, can you rephrase your, your question again, because I did not caught it. Are you saying about the death and uh, crucifixion of Jesus in Islam, in Quran? Is that what you're saying? Or did no. I... Oh, no. okay. Can you, can, we, you, can you ask it again, because uh, I did not caught it. Sorry. Yeah. Where do we find yeah. in the Quran yeah. these actions, these following actions, feedings, like Jesus did with the people, mm -hmm. healings, like Jesus did, yeah. uh, and the resurrections, uh, you know, Lazarus and so yeah. many. Nowhere, nowhere. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I ask, Muhammad I, didn't do it. Muhammad didn't do it. Uh, yeah, well, do you find it interesting to ask all the Muslims? Uh, yeah, I want to know. I mean, you know, we in Christianity, we have Jesus who can heal the dead. He, he can even give people their eyes back to see, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. He can give <laughs> life. He resurrected. He, he died on the cross. He resurrected. Uh, where, where do we find this in, in Islam? Nowhere. But, 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 but you know, yeah. I, I want to, uh, Muslims to tell me because they know yeah. their book. I yeah. know my book, which is yeah. the Bible. Yeah. I, they yeah, don't. They can't. They can't, my friend. They have to go to but, the Bible to say, oh, you know, Jesus, because Allah gave him all these powers. This is why Jesus could heal people. This is why Jesus could make people alive again. So they have to well, use that kind of. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I found uh, yeah. um, a clip sometimes and uh, one, uh, one scholar in Christianity said, uh, you have to do the comparison between uh, the actions to help people to yeah. understand better and so on and so on. Yeah, my so friend, you know how Muhammad used to help people? By stealing their wives, by uh, uh, robbing caravans, by uh, tying six-year-old baby Aisha, by putting his penis between the penis, not the penis, guys, the penis with a B, between her legs uh, to climax. Uh, Muhammad uh, 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 stole other uh, people's wives. He told his Sahaba to lick each other's fingers for baraka, and so on, and so on, and so on. You know, this yeah. is what Islam, you know, this is the difference between Islam and Christianity, right? So it is what it is, my friend. It is what it is. Um, yeah. And another little thing. Yeah. I, I, I found it uh, dreadful. It uh, was a great important, but dreadful. You know, uh, the Muslims, I watch yeah. you, I watch CP, I watch Samshan anyway. Mm -hmm. I learned many things in the past two, two months. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the things about some Muslims is that they are uh, stubborn. And then yeah. they do not get some uh, important things. One of them, 
and uh, I want you to help me to post in your uh, screen. It is uh, 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 blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I, I quote Matthew 12, 32 and 12, 31 and 12, 32. That is for you to put in the screen. Because I, uh, yeah, just I a second. If I can put it for you, no problem. Just and a second. Uh, Yeah. I, I want you talk to Muslims. Uh, if you find it appropriate, uh, yeah. I, I want you to tell them not to do this kind of thing because if if they um, uh, speak badly ab against God, uh, they will be punished. But if they will speak badly against the yeah. Holy Spirit, even if they die, they will mm -hmm. be resurrected. Yeah. They will. Uh, um, uh, suffer yeah. the whole yeah, you cannot you cannot blaspheme the Holy Spirit, but you know what Muslims keep doing that they always go to the Bible, let's say to John 16 or 14, and they call Muhammad the Holy Spirit. Is that isn't that blaspheming the Holy Spirit? Well, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So I think it is. you see the proof is against you. Muslims never ever never ever go to John 16 or John 14 to tell us and blaspheme and call Muhammad the evil son of Satan calling him the Holy Spirit because you know what what will happen it's it's on the screen so be be cautious don't do it don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit because yeah. God will not forgive you exactly yeah, yeah. that is it okay yeah. thanks you thank thanks. you for calling my friend God bless you, God uh, bless you all. and uh, yeah this was this is another blessing thank you for calling and maybe next time you can call us if we have more time we, we will talk to all uh, to you more and talk about other topics. Thank you for calling. Okay. God okay. bless you. God bless you too. God bless you. Do we have any Muslim guys? No more Christian calls, please. Um, I love you. I love your calls, but I hope that there is going to be one last Muslim call. Do we have one last Muslim who wants to call? Nasser, do you want to call me or you want to play? Did you come to play, Nasser? Listen, Nasser, Nasser Nasun, we don't hate you, my friend. But if you think you can tell us why anyone should accept Islam in 2020. Call me. I'm not going to bite you, man. I'm not going to bite you. Call me, Ya Nasser. Ya Akhi Nasser. Call me and let us have a nice respectful discussion. Why are you afraid, man? I'm not going to bite if you don't want me to bite. I mean, I have really big teeth. Big teeth, brother. You, if you see my miswak, my miswak, bro, is out out uh, grows your miswak. My miswak, uh, it, you know, it's XXXXL, you know. Imagine, guys, the Muslims say, oh, you can only beat women with miswak. But if you see my miswak, bro, you don't want to hit any women with it. Yeah. Miswak, brother. Any Muslim? Yalla bina yalla, yalla yalla, yalla ya akhwan. ايه الأمة دي يا عمي يا جبان ابن جبان وينك وين بدك تروح we are here to grab you by your beard brother and we will not let go you know do you know uh, 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 like a you know a bulldog bro we're like a bulldog these days Christians uh, are like a bulldog they when they bite into Islam they will not go man they will not let go you know and we'll, we'll grab you by the beard brother and we'll drag you and your prophet over the floor and clean the floor with your fake Wanna be prophet of Islam. We're here for you. We're coming for you. And you know what Bilal Phillips said? It will knock us over, brother. I know Christian Prince has much better voice than me, man. Christian Prince, his art is better than mine. You know, he has more beautiful. What can we? I, I you know, God didn't give me gave me this gift, man. He can do better Zack and Ike voice. You know, what can I do, man? I'm a I'm a nobody. I'm, I, you know. <laughs> Guys, any Muslim, any Muslim. Yalla, ya khwan. Meha Rab, the guy that you just, uh, TM Crossbow, the guy that you just time out. The guy, before I started uh, the live show, he was saying, you know, Adnan Rashid, Adnan Rashid. He was, you know, Adnan Rashid is one of his uh, heroes, brother. Uh, I think uh, you should watch my part one, two, and three. Uh, the spanking that I gave Adnan Rashid. If you see the spanking that I gave Adnan Rashid, you will go and grab Adnan Rashid by the beard and say to him, "How dare you to make us to to, to you know to 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 call Islam lies and deception? How dare you? We busted him so hard. If I was a Muslim, I would go to him and grab him by the beard, man. 
And the spanking that I gave him too, you know, enough for a year, enough for a year. Now, uh, guys, we are, we are joking, right? Christian Prince, you know, he's a living legend, man. I love this guy. He's my brother. We used to sit in the same Paul talk room. He's one of my best friends, man. I, lo I love him. He's my older brother, my older brother in Christ. A true living legend. Any Muslim, last call from a Muslim. Any Muslim, no Muslims? It's really sad, man. You know, can you imagine 1.6 billion Muslims and not one dares to call us? CP is old, uh, old but good, man. Uh, you know, you know, if you see his beard, bro. Uh, uh, any, any Muslim? No Muslim? It is what it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think uh, today, uh, I hope you enjoyed the spanking. If you like our videos, guys, help me to help you cut the parts out, all right? Show them on YouTube, re-upload re them on YouTube because our videos need to be spread, guys, you know? We went through all the Muslim apologies today, all of them, one by one, we gave them spanking, you know? I really hope that Farida, I, don't, I really, really hope that Farida is going to go to Mecca and smooch the black stones, you know? Because he became a mushrik in 2020. Yeah, Farida, you really needed to repent, right? And if I was an honest Muslim, I would have not supported you anymore on YouTube because you called Muhammad the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. Lord willing, we will see each other in an amazing future, future live show. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. God bless your family. Stay safe. Stay away from Islam. Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. And every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. The name above all names. Thank you for watching and God bless.